Hi! Mix in a mix in a weird system. This is what I want. Wanna do? Let's go. Hi! Oh, I'm sick with the dance moves. <laughs> I don't even want to try. <laughs> idea I had this idea on a day where I didn't want to do anything else that I would go live and listen to only Nickelback songs until I beat Absolute Radiance on Radiant three times <laughs> That's what I, that was my idea I was just going to go live and listen to Nickelback on loop until I beat it three times uh, but then I would do it so quickly you know what I'm saying it would just be three for three dude I have to one of these windows has a chess game open that I'm currently losing and I can't find it. <laughs> I, I know that somewhere I have a chess game that I'm currently playing that I have fucking lost. Where is it? I'm in a game right now, right? We all just want to be big rock stars living hilltop houses driving 15 cars. Girls come easy and the drugs come cheap and we'll all stay skinny cause we just won't eat and we'll hang out in the something something with the VIP and the movie stars. Loot Hound! Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I am not feeling well uh, today, unfortunate. Me and Ari went on a very fun double date yesterday. Um... It's called a doorknob tour, if you've ever heard of it. It's where you go around uh, a major U.S. city and you lick all the doorknobs. And normally it's really fun, but for some reason I'm sick today. Uh, unfortunate, sad. Have you heard the sea shanty version of that? The sea shanty version of Rockstar? No, I haven't. Sea shanty Rockstar Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the beat. A maiden in the lane, but a harlot in the bedchamber. <laughs> we getting out the dungeon with this one. Uh, in the tavern with my comrades. <laughs> in the tavern with my comrades. Uh, that's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> we type in the same YouTube comment with this one. I haven't watched it in a while. We played the Boucher. I played it once. I mean, on stream. I played like 40 hours off stream. Uh, I feel like low key is going to be the most controversial take I've ever had. Once you've done gold steak a couple times. In Bellatro, that's it. The game's not that good. The game's not that deep. It's fine. It's fun. But I low key think it's like if you if you're comparing it to Slay the Spire, I don't, I don't think it's there, bro. Uh, but that means you know what I'm saying. It's like not every game has to be there. The game is still fun. I got my I got money. Money's worth. But I just don't think it's an all time. I don't think it's an S tier. I don't think it's an all time. Um. That's my opinion. Is I think it's a good 40-hour game, but not like a 200-hour game. Uh, I always thought that chat messages popping into frame was a YouTube thing. Uh, it, how does that work? It is, uh, what I do is I live create it in Photoshop. So while you're talking, I'm I make a perfect copy, and then I, what I do is I import it, and then I move it. So when it does the whoosh, that is me dragging it i'm dragging it across the it's all live it's all a piece of it's a piece of art is what it is it's like watching a powerful stage performance you know what i'm saying do you know like when you're watching a play and they have like a tree moving in the background it's not really a tree do you understand it's play it's all performance art okay keep up um 
Poggy's me next. You guys want to go? It's like a ride. <laughs> it's like if you get whooshed, it's like a fun ride. Woo! Look at that. You're like moving. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. I like feel the wind in your hair. In the club with my homies. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, uh, for some reason I am sick. Although I'm like I'm a very vague sort of sickness. I don't really know what it. I can't diagnose it. I'm sure it's not glancer. Uh, I'm not a sickly Sandy. I'm, I feel honestly I I should feel better. I feel like I'm I was on a real upward trend. Oh, Ecto watches. Thank you for the gifted. Um, yeah, it's some sort of sigma thing. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I got I got good sleep. I don't know if you guys noticed. I feel like I. Don't have my usual dark circle. I feel like I got good sleep. I feel like I'm, I should be really healthy today, but I just feel like I got fucking something wrong. Uh, what are you playing today? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to play today. Well, I was thinking of doing best tweets today because we have some funny fucking tweets. Yeah, Shrek, you are sick. Sick as fuck, dude. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. I really, need, I really needed that. That's a really kind thing to say. Well, that's really powerful. Um, in the club with my homies. I'm not playing AoE. Why do you keep asking for AoE? I played AoE for like a week. Two years ago. Uh, I like your shirt and your knuckles. What about my... I get the shirt. <laughs> I, the shirt I understand. It's a very... It's a fun shirt. What, what is the with the knuckles? I feel like you added that part and it threw me off. Um... They're pointy. They've got grit. My knuckles have grit. <laughs> what? what? What the fuck are you guys saying? What? What? Are... Uh, they stay hungry. They devour. No, that's the Rock. This Hitman edit is the best thing I've ever seen. All right, we'll watch a TikTok. It's getting canceled anyway. TikTok's getting taken down, bro. House vote. Like fucking one sixty-two to thirty-two. Uh, what we, oh, actually, I think it's like 332. What do we got? Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza. <laughs> this is high Your target effort. is I the already client tell. of ours, Silvio Caruso. <laughs> uh, excuse me, what are you doing here? <laughs> Someone please help me! Target down. Excellent work, 47. Next up, Darwin. Oh, it goes again. <laughs> this is a really. I mean, you have to know the Hitman mission opportunities. As well as all Mr. Bean scenes. <laughs> Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. <laughs> That's where he dies from shock. <laughs> That is one of the coolest kills in the actual game. It's your former boss, and he knows how skilled you are. So if you just show up in the classic Agent 47 suit, he just says you and then dies of shock. It's actually one of the sickest kills. That's what You don't have to do anything. You just have to show up and look at him. Uh, uh, incredible edit. Incredible edit. Can I just put that on my TikTok and say that I made that? Would that be weird? Would that be inappropriate? If I just said, like, that's mine now? And be like, it's, oh, that's ethical? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that's industry standard. Oh, we do have a lot of that on the internet nowadays. People just straight up yoinking. Mm, when are you going to address the Outer Wilds DLC allegations? Are you under the impression that I didn't play it yet? <laughs> Are you under the impression that I'm avoiding it when I, in fact, already played it, already beat it, <laughs> put it in the book? <laughs> uh, 
Not only did I beat it, I then had a fucking three hour debate about it. Uh, thus giving a full experience, a full body high. Um, I was there, can confirm. Um, encore for the fans. I actually don't think an encore of an Outer Wilds game would be very fun because you would know how to do everything. I think the journey is the destination. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm sad that I missed it, but I'm glad that I missed the three-hour debate. Well, I say that you actually missed out, my friend. When is the next time you're playing Helldivers? Well, I'll tell you. Fuck. Oh, I don't feel well. Oh, God, I actually don't feel well. Oh, it's in my stomach. Ow! I don't feel well, bro. Um, I will tell you, it's not Glancer. It's just not Glancer. Because, here's why. I'm going to tell you why. I, I'm no doctor. I'm not a doctor, and so obviously your opinion is as valid as mine. I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's Glancer, and then you can tell me why you think it is Glancer. Here's my number one reason. Glancer is not real. <laughs> That's my... That, if I had to put form one key argument, it's that there is no disease called Glancer. You just took cancer and added a G because of a glizzy hands joke. Do you understand? So that's my, that's where I'm coming from. And then I want to know where you're sort of coming from. Um, the, next time I'm playing Helldivers, this is a great question. So uh, I will tell you that Clint Stevens messaged me today. In fact, like an hour ago. Clint said, hey... Let's play Helldivers before the Giga Quake destroys everything in California, please. Now, Clint Stevens doesn't live in California. <laughs> I don't know where he's hearing about the Giga Quake. I don't know what that is. Uh, Giga Quake? Can I look this up? I don't even see anything. I see... I... <laughs> I see an article from 2023, February of last year, saying that California could have back-to-back -back earthquakes, but that was a year ago. Um, he's the only one who knows. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. What is a gigaquake, Clint? I'm going to ask him that because I don't think he's... I'm not sure. Again, I can't confirm this. But I think similar to you guys with Glancer, I don't think Clint is a uh, geol. What, what is it? Who, who, who tracks earthquakes? What is that job? Seismologist. I don't think he's a seismologist. Uh, uh, Rock, look up the big one. That's what he means, my guy. The big one, California. Okay, from panic to preparedness, the big one, California earthquake. Let's see. Let's see what we're looking at here. Um, no one can predict with certainty the next massive earthquake, aka the big one, will rock Southern California. But new research suggests it may be sooner than we previously thought. Californians are underprepared for a colossal quake. Uh, an epic disaster. All of this research doesn't prove the big one is, okay, 7.8 magnitude. What What is a, what was like the ones we get all the time in California? What are those? Average California earthquake magnitude. Mm, pop, pop. Why, why are we saying pop, pop? <laughs> why are we saying pop, pop? Well, what's going on? Uh, 7.8 is horrendous. No, I understand 7.8 seems really high. I'm just trying to figure out what my, what I, oh, magnitude. <laughs> right, because I said magnitude. No, I get it. Pop, pop. No, I get it. I'm, I'm with it. Uh, okay. Well, I can't, be, I'll be honest with you. I can't have a discussion about earthquakes without saying the word magnitude. <laughs> And, and if I say it every time you're going to say pop, pop, then we are, we've reached an impasse. <laughs> we've reached an impasse. And I, I don't know how to surpass. Anyway, I, I, here's what I'll say. I don't think 
that Clint Stevens is correct that I'm going to die from an earthquake. This is going to ter- this is going to be a terrible in memoriam clip. <laughs> Clint Stevens at my funeral playing this clip in a tuxedo. He was wrong, but we still miss him. Uh, This is going to be a poorly aged clip, assuming that I die into an earthquake. But I just don't think that's, I don't think that's how I'm going to end. Ever thought of moving to a different place because of natural disasters? Um... I I thought of moving to the coast of Japan. <laughs> I thought that would be the safest place for me, dude. Um, uh, how many subs to oil up? Now, when you say oil up, what do you what do you mean? Thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, Ecto watches. Thank you. You said, um, wait, I'm sorry. You, Ecto watches. You, you wanted me to read something you gave gifted. So, okay. Sorry. You said, um, uh, a truck. I saw the clip of you talking about Angela Chow, the billionaire's wife. Um, I understand your belief on the greediness of billionaires, but I don't understand your instant hate towards them. They are obviously not giving people, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily bad people. I'm obviously biased as a family friend of the family. What's your take? So I, I don't I don't think you, I don't know how they cut it for the clip because I only do what I did live. But I feel like when I was speaking live, I was the one telling chat that, hey, I understand that she's a billionaire, but it's not cool to cheer for someone drowning slowly in a pond. <laughs> that's what I said. I, I think that's, I feel like I said the opposite. So I don't know why you're, um... <laughs> I feel like maybe Adish cut it to, you know, he's always putting a Doomer title on things and then cutting it. <laughs> but that's what I was saying. Now, I don't, I think uh, I am uh, unfavorably disposed towards Angela Chow, not necessarily because she's a billionaire, but more because she is um, pro, I mean, she's like sister in law with Mitch McConnell and supports who I think is one of the worst people in American politics for decades, Mitch McConnell. So I just, that's why I don't like, uh, I don't think I would like her where she is still alive. But I still said, nobody deserves to die that way. That is not like, (laughs) it's like, even if we were to have a fair trial on that and sentence her uh, to be guilty, the punishment wouldn't be, all right, let's lock you in a Tesla and have it sink slowly into a lake. <laughs> that is not a, it's a cruel and unusual punishment to anyone. So I, I, I didn't support that. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, hey, truck, we, uh, you had one more message. We all know your fingers have grown over time as evidenced by the ring resizing, even though, uh, the, your wife probably knew your ring size. The necessary growth for change. Oh, this is your proof of why I have Glancer is because <laughs> get a ring resize. <laughs> no, I don't. That's, that's, wait, one second ago, you guys were all saying how he's fucking not based for supporting a billionaire. And now that he said my fingers are large, you are, I can't VIP him. He's the goat VIP him. He's the greatest. He's the one of a kind. He's a legend. Um, just feels like you, yeah, the, the whims of the people are surely fickle. Um, hey, Shrek, who are you voting for in the upcoming Mexican election? As a Latino man, I will be eligible to vote um, in the Mexican election. I My understanding is it's two women, and I could not name either one. Not because I can't name a woman because I have not followed Mexican politics. Um, Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, not sure. Um, You should follow, it's an important election. I, there's a lot of important elections this year, a a shocking number of them. Um, I probably will follow as we get closer. I could not tell you the uh, differing parties in Mexican politics nor what the different women stand for. Um, 
Where'd you get that fire ass shirt? I want it. I actually hand, can you believe this? I hand stitched it myself. Every fucking thread of this was made with love um, by me. So unfortunately you can't get this anywhere, but um, do you think they'll actually go through the two? So I, I do um, currently think that this will pass the Senate based on how it's gone so far. It does feel like it'll pass the Senate, at which point something will have to be done. However, the more I am learning about it and the more I watched the um, the CEO of TikTok do a little fucking TikTok speech today. I think they're not as I was just watching it. Just wanted to share some thoughts with our US users about the um, they're not going to sell. They'll just they'd rather fucking die than let America have TikTok. <laughs> I think they legitimately just won't sell it. Um, if forced to and then it will be it. It's, it's, uh, it's supposed to be not a ban. It's supposed to be a forced divesture, which means they just have to sell it to an American company. I think they just won't, um, which will then amount to a ban. Uh, Biden's like, Gen Z already hates me for supporting genocide. I wonder if banning TikTok will win them back. Well, I, I got two things to say to this. You know what's funny? <laughs> my dad, my dad is a 30-year military veteran who voted Republican for 28 years, called me today and said, hey, you're being too harsh on Biden. <laughs> this is on God true. My dad called me today and said that. Uh, and I'd like to respond to your question. I think I'm a little bit of a Debbie Downer a bit. Um, I'd like to respond to this by saying, first of all, Gen Z's not voting at the levels where this is going to make a massive difference. And then I would also say that you need to understand who Biden is running against. If, you're, uh, <laughs> if your big things are Biden is pro-Israel and Biden wants to ban TikTok, you don't... <laughs> that's, that's what, who do you think he's running against, bro? It's not. Uh, I feel like you're you're smoking the reef, dude. Uh, I um, so I just I want you to understand that. Um, uh, you have to bring back the esports like conduct podcast. I just finished it and I need more. You just finished it. You just finished a podcast that ended in 2019. <laughs> You just finished a podcast that ended like five years ago after, I don't know, 40 episodes, maybe. Uh, that's fire, bro. Mm. That's, you have just, you got there. And all of it, by the way, all of it, all of that podcast was like weekly current events in esports. So it doesn't age well at all. I mean, it's not like you can like, watch it later and learn something about how fucking Echo Fox did this week. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I'll, I'm, I'm so impressed that you watched that, but I, um, it's just a, it's a real slice of life, slice of time. I remember I was on a walk with my boss at NVIDIA because me and Stans did that as like a fun side thing. Uh, like my first year at NVIDIA, I feel like when we started that. I was on a walk with my boss. My boss loved taking walks. He's a real walk and talker kind of guy. Uh, and this is a guy, you know, he's high up, rich fucking guy working at NVIDIA. I really admired him. Um, he was walking with me and we're just talking about hobbies we have and stuff and things outside of work. And I mentioned, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a podcast with my friend and I'm really excited about it. I'm kind of jazzed up. I'm like, I love talking about this stuff. And, and <laughs> uh, his whole mood changed. He looked at me like with a weird, like, confused scowl and he's like why <laughs> I distinctly remember this it was so funny it's like why <laughs> I was like oh all right well, okay cool and I didn't bring it up anymore um do 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 Oil up, big boy. What's this? 
This is just a dude covered in oil. I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah. Twitch exec. Uh, no, this was an NVIDIA exec. This is my first year at NVIDIA. A Twitch executive would have been like, what is a podcast? <laughs> The, the the CMO of Twitch would have been like, I, what is what are video games? I'm not, I'm not familiar. Can you, um, <laughs> hey, big guy, I'm sick too. Stay strong, brother. You know, I'm fucking. I, I just don't feel well. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I feel like if I felt better, I could. I would just be ready to fucking rip. That's shit I gotta do. Um, mm, 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 mm. You look like a runescaper. What is that? Is like really insulting. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is what the fuck does that mean? I look like a runescaper. I, I don't play. First of all, I don't play RuneScape. Not for 20 years, probably. Literally, wait, literally 20 years. Holy shit, I'm old. I'm actually old. <laughs> I literally haven't played RuneScape in 20 years. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, you recently... Who's getting into RuneScape recently, bro? I don't understand it. That doesn't make... Draw Spindle, you're joining in on this? What about me? It looks like a RuneScaper. I don't like a RuneScaper, bro. I'm wearing a GameCube controller fucking shirt. If anything, I look like a, a GameCuber. I don't look like a fucking RuneScaper. The hair? <laughs> Maybe you just mean old. <laughs> Is RuneScaper just a fancy way of saying old because all the RuneScapers are fucking old? Is that... <laughs> what are you guys trying to say? I don't fucking... I don't get it and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it, to be honest. I don't appreciate it. Mm. Did you guys see they announced... Uh, wait. The RuneScape guy announced a brand new MMO today. It's called Sheltered Shores or some shit. Brighter Shores. So you want to join the Hope Port Town Guard? Then here's what you need to know. We're not just about fighting fire toads. We also investigate potential threats and help out the people. It's just me or does it look exactly like RuneScape? <laughs> I feel like they just rebranded RuneScape. Will we meet? All recruits will learn how to use magic, alchemy, and whatever this thing is. You will also be trained in essential survival skills like fishing, blacksmithing, and assembling a. Is it a mobile game? Swords. So, set sail for brighter shores today. Stanley Parable, Bry. I think you guys think every British person sounds the same, and that is based, but I don't think it's the Stanley Parable guy. Is it? Um, it's actually him? That's almost embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like if you're a video game and you get the Stanley Parable guy, it's just admitting that, like, hey, I want to just steal what they have. I, that, I feel like that's bad. I feel like that's... But I don't think it's him. I think it just sounds like I think he's doing the same kind of thing. Um, what if you got the Stanley Parable guy? For what? For my stream? And Atrock was wondering <laughs> why his chat kept talking about 100 t-shirts. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fun. Actually, it's a really funny stream idea. <laughs> it's actually a really funny stream idea to have a day where I have a narrator for the whole stream. That's actually really funny. But the problem is, I mean, the narrator would have to know so much. Mm. Hey, big guy, just got here. Are you sick because you didn't wear enough shirts? That's a really great question. Um, no, it is not that because that would not affect my health. That would just be stupid to wear. <laughs> I will say, I think most of these jokes are fucking stupid. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I think they're all pretty stupid. But I did check the clips channel um, before going live, like right before going live. And in a cow, uh, there was uh, the clip just uploaded about me, um, I don't know, uh, ordering Uber Eats or whatever. And the top comment was this. 
I had a delivery the other day to this dude in LA. He opened the door and this wave of frozen vapor immediately wafted off of his shirt and froze me in place. His large hot dog shaped fingers grasped the bag of liquid deaths and then he started cackling like a maniac. He goes, want a tip, little bro? Buy NVIDIA. And then slammed the door in my face. Best delivery I've had all week. And I just, I felt like I was in a fucking <laughs> insane asylum. I feel like that was, I cannot believe that was the most upvoted clip. I was going to post on that clip. Um... Itchrock, I heard you got sick because you didn't listen to enough bluegrass music. How did you hear this from? <laughs> Who are you having a conversation with that was like, oh, Itchrock? Yeah, I heard he got sick. Not enough bluegrass. <laughs> I don't, I feel like that's not a conversation topic in the ether. However, we can try. I guess you could call bluegrass Midwest emo. I guess there's something there. It doesn't sound like emo music, but I could see the I could see the parallels. Um, I can see what you're getting at. I just my only problem with it is the lyrics were all about like um, you know drinking and heartbreak and life and struggle and and wealth inequality and like he didn't mention crypto once not one of the lyrics was about crypto or like getting paid or like investing in nvidia or like you know what i'm saying like things that would re be relevant um so i just felt like it was a little bit out of date wait where's that new it's fucking <laughs> wait, the, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is brand new. Where the fuck is it, dude? Yeah, this one. <laughs> what do you do with the Bitcoin besides it just gather value? <laughs> real estate developers in New York City, they're not buying the real estate because... They what the fuck? <laughs> not the fucking mega quake not the giga quake chat <laughs> holy shit wait i fucking lost my chat too refresh oh we're back oh my god i lose my lights wait i'm fucking um <laughs> it's giga quaking it's giga quaking oh shit it's get up for the whole f ah! <laughs> oh no clint was right bro oh fuck wait is there actually going to wait yes right now there's a fucking giga quake. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> what the? Uh... <laughs> That's a fucking... Almost about to fucking... Um... You just gave me vertigo and I threw up. I'm about to throw up. I do feel sick. Uh, I don't know what happened. Dude, what the fuck's happening? Is there a bug where your chat text is input backwards? No, what do you mean? No. Are you going to play Tekken 8? Zero percent chance. Zero. Steve Chen, they have 16 months. I'm not going to play Tekken 8. I will, it was not on my list. Uh... Oh, well, I was playing the Bitcoin song. But you guys fucking, did you hear it? People at some point want to sell the assets at a profit. People, 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 people that use, that use, that use, that use fiat, 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 fiat currency, currency as a store, as a store, 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 store of value. Value, value. We call them we poor. poor, poor. <laughs> we call them we poor. <laughs> people, people, it's such a fucking mean-spirited bad song. Fiat, 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 fiat. <laughs> 
currency. <laughs> we call them poor. We call them poor. We call them poor. We call them poor. <laughs> There's a name for them. We call them the poor. We call them the poor. Okay. Right. <laughs> now that's music. Bluegrass is dealing with real issues, okay? If you're not calling 99% of all people poor, uh, what are you doing? Keep going, it's hilarious. I guess I haven't heard the end. I've actually never heard the end. What, how does it go? Like, the point is, if, if you have the superior asset, it's going up forever more. Forever. Right, I mean, right, but I mean, we can all look Bitcoin sort of uh, as forever more. People, 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 people that use. It's the same thing. Fiat. fiat yeah, I get it. Fiat, They're poor. Currency. <laughs> As a store, 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 store of value, we call them we poor. We call them we poor. Shit! People, people, people. Bro, I was literally grabbing my mic arm to make fun of the guy, that moose trucker, that told me to buy a new mic arm. And the second I grabbed it, it broke off, which is going to really undercut my point. I was really get, I was ready to fucking rip into him, but now it's, I feel like he's, He's gonna have the upper hand in this in this battle of wits because my mic is breaking. I have to buy a new one. God damn it. Uh we call them poor. We call them poor. I own 0 0.000001 Bitcoin, so I can say you're all motherfuckers are poor. <laughs> You need to put like investor <laughs> in your bio. <laughs> investor, entrepreneur, future thinking, future forward. Um, I think the problem with my mic arm is not necessarily that this falls off, but more that this squeaks all the time. That's not, it's really not doing it that much when I show, try to show you. Um, People that use broken mic stands, we call them poor. <laughs> oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto parts. Wait, do you remember? This is so old. Has anyone around for this? There was an era of this stream where I watched a fan, not a fan made, a 18 view YouTube AutoZone commercial made by an AutoZone employee named King Delroy. And then he found out about the stream and then made me custom songs. Um, at one point, I think he made me a song for my wedding. <laughs> like a beautiful song called She Said Yes about Ari saying yes. And it was all because I watched one auto. What is the original? Can I find that song? AutoZone King Delroy. I, that song really was a heater. It's actually so easy because it has 45,000 views right now and every single one of them is about the stream. <laughs> Oh my god, the intro. Iconic. Um, well, maybe you could take it to AutoZone. AutoZone? Yeah. It's one right there. Oh, okay. Thanks. Welcome to A-U-T-O-Z-O-N-E. Welcome to A-U-T-O-Z-O-N-E. AutoZone. A-U-T-O-Z-O-N-E. Welcome to
come to A-U-T-O-C-O-N-E. Hey, how you doing today? Hey. I see you walk through the doors with a frown on your face. I say, hey, <laughs> please tell me your problem. <laughs> I'm sure we got the tools you need so we can solve them. If it's your awesome lady, yes, we check that for free. <laughs> We can also check your starter and battery. Uh -huh. Can't bring it in, that's fine. We'll come out to you. Cause making customers number one is what we do. Welcome to A U T O C O N E. Welcome to A U T O C O N E. Auto song. A U T O C O N E. Welcome to A U T O C O N E. Auto song. Excuse me. <laughs> if you can't find what you need. We order it express for you through our VDP. Yes, indeed. We strive to serve customers better. That's why we take the time to price match our competitors. I mean, this is just, this is a fire song. And what I think he mentioned, we did an interview with him, and he like brought it to the CEO, and they didn't do anything with it, which is unfortunate. I'm, I'm putting this on my, I need to put this on my, my, uh, my button, my stream deck. Play the McDonald's one too. He made a McDonald's song. What, what is King Delroy got cooking? Uh, he made an "I'm Loving It" McDonald's channel. Do we do we watch this? I don't remember that. <laughs> what an insane opener! I'm loving it. Sound of satisfaction when you're done Eating a Big Mac on a sesame seed bun uh -huh. You know it's good, serving breakfast all day You need to wash it down, get a drink from the cafe It's so smooth, so cold like me Talking about the one and only sweet iced tea uh -huh. So go ahead, make a sound, that's it It's like ba da 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 I'm loving it <laughs> You guys remember that? You remember that 30 second jingle from four years ago? Sheesh! That is heat, don't get me wrong I just, I... I didn't that didn't click with me. I remember the other stuff he made. I just don't remember that. Uh oh wait, Marketing Monday jingles on here. <laughs> Today's Marketing Monday. Let's go into the wins and fails points because I have a I have a big topic today. <laughs> oh, bars. That is the win of the week. Monday, you just Like it, that's, that's why you he here. here. See which one of these companies will be marked as S tier. tier. Yeah, you've been waiting all week long. It's time to tune in. And since you're listening right now, make sure to invite some friends. Patriarch. 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 This is actually, this is actually insane fire. You really forget how in his bag he was. <laughs> this is all the old stuff. Uh, wow, that is crazy. I need to put that back in the lineup. Then put that back in the mix. There's no. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember when I brought him on stream to interview him and he had us pause in the interview so the whole chat could say a prayer for me? We did like a collective prayer. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a good man. He's a, I should catch up with him. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder how he's doing. He's a good man. Um... Do 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 Bana 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 Did Nancy Pelosi cook here or nah? Is this tic tac toe? Yeah, I saw this earlier. <laughs> Trying to get this out of the video before it goes out. This is this is heat, dude. This is heat. The best investor and the best public speaker. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic tac toe. A winner. A winner. <laughs> this is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic-tac-toe. A winner. A winner. A winner. A winner. 
This is not. I mean, that's just heat. I just. How can you stop her? You really can't stop her. She just took. <laughs> she took Pokemon Go to the polls and put it in the fucking dirt. <laughs> She put Hillary Clinton under the water and held her there. She stopped breathing, bro. This is fucking, this is the new. This is that new, new. Uh, yeah, and that's why she's the best investor the world's ever seen. Up $2 million on NVIDIA. The lady behind it? Wait, I didn't see her. Let me see it again. I didn't see the lady behind her. An attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic tac toe. A winner. A winner. This is not. <laughs> she does. <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> oh, you sure about that one? You want that clip out there? Uh, I do like saying a winner twice. <laughs> Tic tac toe. A winner. That's. <laughs> when your grandma drinks too much wine. <laughs> uh, that's very funny. Yeah, she would be fun to day drink with. I will say that. I will say that. Do that for wins and fails. Mm. Hey, Big H Rock, you good? Get well soon. Thank man. I actually fine. I just feel a little under the weather. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I feel off today, which is unfortunate. Um... Uh, should be fun to day trade with. Can you imagine? Just kick back a few brews, open up a nice bottle of red, and day trade with Pelosi. <laughs> Can you imagine a better way to spend a fucking Friday? That sounds awesome. Um, let's learn some tips from the goat. How is there no remixes of that yet? If it was 2010, we would have 100 audio remixes. I feel like audio remix era is kind of dead. Yeah, we would have like an auto-tune remix of that. Uh, but nowadays, people just share the clip. I don't know. Or they make their own content around it. I do think the audio remix days. It feels pretty... Um, damn. Damn. Been feeling like that. I just feel a little off and can't shake it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm more than a little off. I feel like... I do feel actually off today. Um... Like a stomach. I might have, might have, maybe I ate something wrong or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of close to throwing up. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm pretty close. I don't know what it is, but I thought I wish it go live. Um, why make an audio remix when I could stretch that 15 second video into a 10 minute react? <laughs> Dude, just as a content creator, thinking of trying to turn that one clip into a 10 minute react made me fucking sad. What a fucking challenge. Oh, God, I think I would fucking... <laughs> Get us on the phone. <laughs> Ten minutes on that clip? What do you say other than it's funny? I don't... I can't even... I don't... I mean, I'm not creative enough. I can't think of anything. I couldn't... After two minutes, what are you doing? You're on four minutes right now, but now I'm I'm actually riffing on the idea of creating it. Um, go in depth. <laughs> to understand this clip, first you have to understand what is tic-tac-toe. Wikipedia defines tic-tac-toe as a game. Uh, mm, it all started with the Big Bang. No, I don't think uh, I don't think I could do it. But I do think it's funny. I'm gonna try and throw it in the uh, the TikTok video I have going out tomorrow, um, which has been slightly updated from the Marketing Monday because the House passed the bill. Uh, House passes TikTok bill. Um, three fifty two to sixty five. And since Biden already agreed he would sign it, it just comes down to the Senate now. It has bipartisan support. Um, I. It seems like at least the odds are good. Probably I'd say better than 50%. 
This thing goes through, and then from there, it depends on if a judge blocks it. Um, but what I am now thinking is that China will not sell it. ByteDance will not sell. They would rather just fucking not anyone have it rather than sell it, even if the money was right. I, don't, I feel like they're not going to sell it, um, which may mean that it's just banned. It's possible. Or they drag it out, try to get an appeal, move it on, maybe get past the election. Trump goes to office. He doesn't want Zuckerberg to get more powerful. He doesn't ban it. I mean, there's probably a way to do something, I guess, but uh, it's definitely the closest it's been. Mm. Uh, I think TikTok fucking sucks, but the U.S. banning an app website sets a terrifying precedent for net neutrality. I, I, I've i heard some people on Twitter say that this bill is so open-ended and they're really just doing it so they can ban other stuff. That's not the vibe I got from reading the bill. I'm just saying, from reading the bill, it's not that long. It, it really just is very specific on uh, TikTok. <laughs> it's, it, it all but name is TikTok and it has to be a foreign adversary. So it, it couldn't, this bill couldn't apply to anything American, first of all. And, um, you know, I, I've bounced back and forth. Some of the arguments that I like for it are like, hey, during the Cold War, would we let Russia buy NBC or ABC or, you know what I'm saying? And the answer is probably no, right? You wouldn't let a foreign adversary buy a major media network. I get that. That makes sense to me. Um, however, some of the counter arguments are that I really, 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 really would hate to see Bobby Kotick <laughs> or Kevin O'Leary own TikTok. Um, and they're like, they're the ones espousing they're going to buy it. Um, so I don't know. And also like, I, there isn't any hard evidence, like not any, none that China has actually um, spied on this data, tweaked the algorithm to influence America. Like that, there's no evidence of that. It is a black box, but it's more of, I think, they're fearing the potential. Um, Um, doesn't Mr. Zuck spy on all of us? Who cares if it's she or Zuck? It's going to be someone. I think it's, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's less about spying than it is about the ability to influence. So there's 170 million Americans on TikTok. Uh, if you're under 30, it's like your number one source of news. The point is like, if there was, if, you know, if the, if this new cold war heats up between U S and China, having the U S's biggest adversary be able to reach all American youth and prioritize videos that are like, I don't know, pro China or something like to just subtly tweak the algorithm or like if they wanted someone to lose an election, they could influence it so that anti that like they they have the they have a lot of power i have no evidence they're using any of that but that's the idea that's the threat that's what they're talking about not necessarily spying um how often do you get sick not very often though i will say february has been a shit month for me i honestly feel like okay this is gonna sound strange but i feel like i had a really good january all right you know I was steady schedule. We were streaming every day. I was working out. And um, then I didn't finish predictions <laughs> at the end of January, beginning of February. And ever since I didn't finish predictions, I feel like I've been cursed. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting sick more often and a lot of bad shit's happening. Like my fucking house is getting uh, roof leaks and, um, you know, just last minute. Shit. I feel like I'm getting, I'm, it's, Shit's happening. Um, and I feel like I got cursed. I feel like I literally got cursed. Um, 
Talk to the witches in your community to get some advice. Do we have any witches in this community that can help me out? Who who should I be um, praying or sacrificing to? We have any warlocks? Um, I'm a part-time wizard. What is, what, what is that? Sorry, what is, you're a part-time wizard. You have the power of magic, but you only use it part-time. What is your other job? Um... Forklift operator. <laughs> why not use the magic? If it's if you can do magic, why do the forklift operator job? I mean, even you'd think the magic would shit's heavy. What do ACO right? ACO package, <laughs> and then you lift it up. Um. Uh, it's Akio. <laughs> That's the British pronunciation. I don't do that. Um, being forklift certified pulls baddies more than being a wizard, a literal, the first of your kind, actual wizard. So you're at a bar and you have the ability to literally do magic. You can make something fly. <laughs> and you don't do that. You instead break out your forklift certification. Hmm. Hmm. How many bitches did Gandalf have? I don't think Gandalf would call them bitches. I think that's... I think that he wouldn't... I think he'd have more respect than that. Uh, but... but <laughs> uh, maidens or whatever I think Gandalf pulled <laughs> in his day I think Gandalf pulled if that's, what you're, if that's what you're asking if you're asking if Gandalf could pull I think he could pull um, was he forklift certified <laughs> Gandalf talking about his forklift certification to pull baddies I don't, that's, that's unreasonable. That's an unreasonable. Um, how did you get Ari? Do you think the only two options are wizard or forklift? <laughs> Cause I did neither, but I, when I met Ari, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't try any wizarding stuff and I didn't try any forklift stuff. I'll ask her right now if she thinks, well, well, let me ask her. We're gonna, we're gonna pull her in here. We're gonna ask her this question. Damn, I feel bad. Man. It's not a setup, babe. It's a question. A question. <laughs> All right. All right, babe. All right. Let's say we're not married, okay? And you're at a bar. Okay. Okay. And a guy's coming up to you. Yep. And he's like trying to spit game. You know, he's like trying to like flirt with you. Maybe that already happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, What's the question? And he, he's got two options, right? I want to say which one's more attractive. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. Okay. One, he's an actual wizard. Like a warlock? Like No, like a wizard. Okay? And he can... Like a, he can, a magic user. He can literally do magic. Oh, right? wow. Okay. So that's that's the first thing is he tells you, like, I can do magic. He, like, makes the cup fly up or something. He's a this wizard. Is this is sounding really dumb. <laughs> no, no. It's from my chat. It couldn't be dumb. Okay. All right. Keep going. 
And he is wearing the big goofy wizard hat, but he's like, I'm a wizard and he can prove it. All right. Okay. The other one, the other guy is forklift certified. So he's That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> very impressive. Wait, what's the question? <laughs> no, you said enough. You said uh, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Maybe you didn't ask the question. I appreciate you. Waste you. my time. What bars are you going to? That you're talking Sorry, about? I guess I just meant in general. What do you mean in general? Like at conventions or when I'm oh, partying like with my friends. When you're, when you're like, and like all I'm dressed have the up. ring on and like they yeah, don't just... fucking get the memo. Yeah. <laughs> I get the memo, people out there. Get with the picture. My wife's taken. <laughs> um Well, thank you for that help. You've done me no favors with this oh, interview. <laughs> Very dumb. I would talk to them because that's interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> she literally when I said forklift certify, her eyes lit up. I'm not even kidding. Unironically. She <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> she unironically pogged. That's crazy. That's cr that's literally crazy. And she wasn't even like she likes wizards. <laughs> I mean, not that they're real, but like she likes Gandalf. Uh, it's that's wild to me. Um, I got to admit that I was wrong. <laughs> At the end of the day, end of the day, when presented with evidence that contradicts my opinion, I have to take that into account. I'm not. I'm actually not correct here. Forklift certified pulls baddies. And that's that's the long and short of it. Um, forklift certification stream win. Well, <laughs> thankfully, I already put a ring on it, so I no longer need to get forklift certified to impress her at a bar. Um, but I. Uh, can't, how hard could it be to get forklift certified? Let's find out. Let's find out. Um, how hard is it to get forklift certified? Same day? $59 same day certification? You can get certified in 30 minutes for $38? Okay, I think I will do it. I will I will do it, dude. Absolutely, I'll get forklift certified. IRL stream, I think it's online, bro. It was like you can do it online. I'd love to do it in person though. Okay. I will I will take the backpack and I'm gonna get forklift certified in California. That's a fucking great idea. And then I'll impress my wife. Easy. Um. Go to each one and get certified everywhere. Why? Why ruin it? <laughs> We have a good idea. We get forklift certified. Why? Why do I have to go to every single certification in America? When in a hundred shirts too, wearing a hundred shirts, it's so stupid. You guys you can't. You can't let well enough alone. You have to keep scaling it up. It's ridiculous. Um, Fifty-nine dollar versus one hundred dollar forklift certification. It's a forty dollar difference. It's not Mr. Beast esque. That's like eight dollar burger versus eleven dollar burger. <laughs> what? Oh shit! It's not. It's not fucking that dear. It's just not. It's not uh, more very interesting. Uh. It would be funny to do like a middle class Mr. Beast. <laughs> it's just middle class Mr. Beast and all of the options and all the comparisons are like very similar. It's like, uh, 
Yeah, Super 8 versus Motel 6. <laughs> Grating your own cheese versus pre-grated cheese. tickles me so much that's really funny <laughs> uh, that's very good <sighs> I looked it up where I am in Canada and forklift certification is thirteen hundred dollars we may have free health care, but you guys have cheap forklift certifications. Um, get fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, Canada. Get fucked. Uh, wow. That's freedom. <laughs> okay. That, I mean, that is just freedom. That's, that's the fucking eagle screaming in your ear. Um, do you... Every day when you get your free health care in the gulag you are assigned to, ever think what it would be like to be free? Is that when you are forced to listen to Sleep Country Canada on loop on your way to your gulag, um, where Justin Trudeau personally kicks you in the nards? Do you ever think like, wow, I wish I was free? Um, every day. <laughs> um... <laughs> we are a bird in a forklift shaped cage for real <laughs> that is how I describe Canada um, that's deep that is deep you are truly the Maya Angelou of Canada um, I know you've talked about enjoying TFT before, but I was wondering if you heard of the Box Box Boot Camp. Um, I heard of it. I even watched the first time he did it where there was a handsome candidate named Atrioc or something. And he did really well and got 500 gifted subs, um, which was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um. Yeah, I already did it. I did it. Uh, it was cool. I think I did it right after, if I'm remembering this correctly. I think I met Boxbox Box at chess boxing, and then I got mad at him for beating up Stans, even though Stans really just lost his arm. But I was like, "Hey, don't you dare touch my boy like that." <laughs> And then we were shooting the shit and getting it off. And then I mentioned I like TFT. And he's like, oh, you like TFT? And he's like, yeah, but I'm bad at it. Like, I'm basically silver. I wasn't silver. <laughs> but then they invited me. And they, they give you your thing based on your starting rank. So they gave me the starting rank of silver. And then I got to, I think it was diamond. Maybe it was plat. Whatever. I got a lot higher than silver very easily because I wasn't silver. And so I got a lot of gifted. I, I really farmed that game. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Um, I meant I was basically silver compared to him because I'm sure he was like challenger or something. But I wasn't, I'm not actually silver. Um, so it worked out really well. Um, mm. Do, 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 do. Hey, File Rocks! Thank you for the uh, uh, 19 months. Just finished watching the Outer Wilds DLC ending discussion. I can't hope you get well soon. Thank you very much. I hope I get well soon as well. Um, Ecto Watches. Have you ever grinded a board game? I know you've grinded. Yeah, I've grinded many board games. Uh, Twitch, Twitch culture. When I worked at Twitch, there was a big board game culture played after work and sometimes during lunches. And it was competitive. And I would grind because I was, I was very competitive at Twitch. 
it was a gamer's paradise and I wanted to be the, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to be the most fucking all around gamer at Twitch. I wanted to be the very best. I, I Famously, I, I went to work early one day <laughs> and I went to the Target near the Twitch office and I bought a big whiteboard and then I wrote Atriox money matches on it and I wrote the odds I would give for every single game, like a, a dozen games, and I hung it up in the office. I hung it up in the break room of the office where we kept our, and then I would take fucking challenges. Um, I would hate you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I brought I brought a good energy. Uh, but anyway, um, so one of them was there was this guy named Carl who I, I haven't told the story, but uh, this guy named Carl who I think is truly a a, a very smart guy, kind of a genius. Carl was a coder. Um, I want to say he wasn't a front end engineer. I think he was maybe back end. You know, the smart ones. <laughs> I feel like he was a back end engineer where they're actually intelligent. Like they actually know that one level deeper. And um, he, um, he was very well respected at Twitch. I knew about him because my good friend Golf who was also a great engineer at Twitch, really looked up to him. He was he was older than he was older than both of us. I mean, he's probably my age right now. You know, I was 22 or whatever. He was probably 31, 30, something like that. But anyway, he's uh he was a really smart guy and everyone looked up to him and he had glasses and he just gave off this energy of like it's nice but really, really smart. And um at the time, the very popular board game was called Splendor. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Splendor, but it looks like this. Mm. Splendor. It's like this. It's a game with diamonds and jewels, and um, it's a fun game. And it was very popular at the time. And so uh, he was considered the best in the office. They would play it in groups of four at lunch. Um, <laughs> but I was like, I, <laughs> I want to be better than Carl at Splendor. So what I did was, I think this is on my Steam. We talked, oh, this is when we were looking at my Steam charts. My Steam, I downloaded the Steam version of Splendor and I grinded it for 200 hours. <laughs> just fucking, just fucking studied the game. You know, I would read forums on Splendor strategy and like I learned all the optimal, like the mathematical optimal things of every fucking card and like, you know, all of that. And then I casually brought up to Carl that we should play a Splendor 1v1. <laughs> hey Carl, wanna play a Splendor 1v1 for 20 bucks? And, um, and I won. <laughs> I won. Uh, I won a best of three 2-0. And, um, didn't tell anybody that I'd grinded it. Did not tell anybody that I had grinded it for 200 hours. Just, just like, <laughs> just, just wanted the going people to go around. Oh, Atrog actually beat Carl at Splendor. Uh, I'm <laughs> but what I'll say about this, you were probably very popular. I wouldn't say I. I wouldn't say this was a negative to my popularity. Okay, I, I'm not trash talking after I win. Okay, I just wanted to. Um, that's not psycho shit, all right? It's Grussel. It's hustle. Uh, what, what, uh... <laughs> so, okay. Go back before working. Go back before um, Twitch. I had some more Twitch stories I could tell, but, but like, so in high school, um, again, I had four different high schools. I moved a lot. Um, and I would often use games as a way to make friends uh, because you would move across country. You, you know, it's like a way to make new, you know, you like this game? Well, you like Halo or whatever? I, you know, get into that. And um, that's how I make friends. And one thing I came up with, this is not a good way to make friends. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is a weird 
grind set thing that I had for the last place I lived, which is Arizona. Which, by the way, these guys are my lifelong friends now. Um, but this group of people invited me, this guy named Patrick, he had like a yearly LAN party or whatever. And so anyone who was even like somewhat nerdy, his parents like really got into it. So they would set up the whole house and it was, it was sick. This guy, Patrick, he was pretty, he was, he was like, his parents were super dope. And Patrick wasn't even really a gamer. He was like one of those kids that's already into coding early. And so he would like set up, you get the fucking whole server set up and like an internal LAN server and, he loved that shit. Like he was really, he's probably making a ton of money now as a thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I got him a book if you notice. Anyway, but anyway, so he he's hosting his LAN party and he's inviting, you know, everyone who's even somewhat into games. And we would go every year and I got invited and I was pretty stoked about it. And I would play these games or whatever. Anyway, at one of these LAN parties, which would last all weekend, you know, they would be like three days long. I invented this is probably the second one I went to after I felt comfortable. <laughs> I invented this thing called the three day challenge. And you can, we'll bring on some of my friends. I'm going to a, uh, a land with these guys this year. And the three day challenge is you tell me what your favorite game is, like what you think you're the best at. And then I'm going to beat you at it by the end of Sunday. <laughs> and so what I would do is all weekend, I wouldn't play any games with anyone else. I would just grind the one game they were they were good at and then at the end of it i would 1v1 them and everyone would be watching and then i would try to beat them um and i remember i did it this is not again i'm not i'm i wouldn't do this now <laughs> not only because i have i'm not in the same type of person but um listen <laughs> you guys are it wasn't i feel like it's coming off more sociopathic <laughs> than it really was it was a good energy i, had, I didn't what I would, all I would say is that I didn't fucking, I, I, there's a twinkle in my eye. Okay. It's all in good fun. Um, but anyway, Patrick was good at Warcraft three and I never played that game. Um, so he told me like, yeah, I could beat you at Warcraft three and who that thank you for the raid. And so I grinded Warcraft three all fucking weekend while Patrick not grinding it, just worked on the land party, like making sure everything was running. And then at the end of the third day, I just tower rushed him with humans <laughs> three times in a row. And I beat him all three times. And, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> and it worked, it worked. I mean, it just fucking worked, bro. I just fucking, I, I don't know what to say. He wasn't, he wasn't ready for it. Um, it's kind of crazy you had friends. All right, well, the thing is I had a good energy. I had a good energy. All I'm saying is it's a grind set thing. Uh, and then Patrick never had a LAN party again. No, he did have a LAN party, okay? <laughs> Do that again with chatters. Uh, and we all know you were a graceful winner. I was a graceful winner. Um, just wasn't invited. <laughs> I was invited. I was invited to the next one. This was not as big of a deal as you guys are making it, all right? It was more my mental problem. It didn't affect other people in such a way. Um, did you ever fail a three-day challenge? I'm trying to think. Um, so, I don't know if I failed a three-day challenge. Because literally, okay, here's the deal. If you're talking about average people, especially in a pre-Twitch, pre live streaming youtube i mean youtube's there but like i don't know in a pre widespread pro gamer environment people on average are just awful at all the games they play average people are just really bad at, like whatever game they think they're good at they're not actually they're awful right people are just not good so if you just take three days and you like actually study what's a good strategy you study one thing really well you grind it generally they won't be able to handle it. It's like, that's the idea. People aren't very good. Like it was, I had this whole mindset that I have softened a bit on, but I've talked about this in the past. Like my mindset is like getting into the top 10% of anything is actually very easy because half the people don't even fucking try. And the other people that, you know, that's the idea. The idea is like getting to above a gold level at anything is very easy. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. So when I wanted to prove that and I had this whole idea of like uh, hard work beats talent and, 
uh, you know, I'd always, I, just, I was really into it. I was really into it, all right? So I would like always kind of try to push it. And I very, I've softened, okay? But that's what I used to be. And so the only thing is, when I started working at Twitch, again, when I did, when I did three day challenges back then, and this is only for like, I mean, a year, two years maybe max, they all worked, but we would always play things that like I could get good at and they weren't very good at. When I worked at Twitch, which is not that far off, again, that's only four years later, um, and I would start challenging everybody, I think I, I was, um, you know, one of the biggest grinders in the office, and like I was captain of the Twitch League of Legends team when we fought Amazon and other tech companies, <laughs> and like I did some stuff, but however, however, uh, when I put up my money match board, many of my things were mispriced. And people, at Twitch you are dealing with not just like average gamers. At Twitch you were dealing with some of the best gamers in the world. <laughs> like Twitch had a partnerships team that would hire like Mike Ross for FGC, would hire Bobby Scar for Melee, would hire, do you know what I'm saying? It would hire really people who had dedicated their life to these games. And so like, I remember I had to add addendums. So I had a thing on there, like I would money match people at Melee, except for Scar and Toaf. <laughs> like I had to put a fucking addendum on there because obviously Scar came up to me and he saw the board. Oh, you think you're hot shit? <laughs> you want to play? And of course Scar could beat my, Scar was way better than me. He played since 2009 consistently. So like I couldn't give him, I was giving like fucking five to one odds. I just couldn't, um, so that's that. That is where I first encountered that. Um, how'd you have the audacity? Oh, I'm just. I, I had this whole. I had this whole. I had this whole vibe. I was really into the grind set. I would say at the time at Twitch. Like when I when I I think my first two years at Twitch. This is when I wasn't even dating. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> I lived like a monk, dude. I would be at the office 16 hours a day, and when I wasn't at the office, I was probably grinding a game. Like I was, I lived like a, I would never, and so I was like, I wanted to like grind marketing, I wanted to grind video games, I wanted to, I would, every weekend I was going to a different event, so I would go to like PAXs or um, EVO or any tournament, like that's what I would do during Twitch. So it was, it was, all, it was all like a real degenerate. And it didn't. It wasn't until Ari moved to San Francisco that I started to slowly change my life, um, which is a good thing. Um, how did Blur feel when you didn't put his name? Blur didn't even work there till later. Um, the first two years I worked at Twitch, Blur wasn't there. Um, do, 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 do. Isn't that the grind set? I think I still have a grind set in me. I just, I think it's, I think if it takes over your whole life, it's pretty unhealthy. <laughs> I think it's pretty unhealthy to like just pick a random thing and then obsess about it for as long as fucking possible. Um, I think I've just tempered it to focus on the things I care about. Um, how are you and Ari celebrating Ford Truck Month? We wake up every day and we watch three or four Ford commercials. Then we go to our local Ford dealership and we just salute for three, four hours, get a small meal, uh, go back, do the same thing. Call all of our relatives with Ford truck months, thank them for their service. Um, and then try to find like, we don't, nobody's inside these cars. But we'll find like Japanese cars Toyotas or whatever that are empty in parking lots and we'll blow them up. <laughs> just torch them. Just like fucking, you know, put a fucking uh, Molotov cocktail in there. Yeah, it's like light terrorism because nobody gets hurt, but it's like, it's for freedom. The Irish salute. <laughs> 2019 HROC would beat you 1v1 in any game? That's a good question. Maybe. 2019, I'm thinking more of 2015, 2014 and 15. 2019 HROC is NVIDIA HROC. I I probably could outgrind him now because I, I have more time. But I feel like 
20, 2015, 2014 Atrioc was doing, was only grinding all day. All day, every day, I was only doing something that would try to get better at something. A lot of it was stupid stuff, like games. But like I was all, I was all I was doing. Um, do 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 do. Um, I I mean I could beat twenty fourteen H Rocket Hitman, hundred <laughs> percent. You wouldn't. There's no way you could outgrind the amount of hours I put in already. I don't know what else. Nothing. Not much. Like not League of Legends. He'd smoke me. Not Starcraft. He'd smoke me. Not like shard bound or whatever. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I think he would. Um, I would beat him at talking to women. <laughs> uh, absolute radiance. I beat him at absolute radiance. Uh, I'm probably stronger than him. AOE for Chinese mirror match. I feel like. My brain, when I do a pump and dump, <laughs> like AOE, I feel like it's like it's all stored in RAM. Do you know? I played AOE and I got good at it. I really grinded it. I studied it, but I feel like I only did it for such a short period of time that. Do you know? Like, there's that study about how you learn things. It's like, if you really want to remember something, you should refresh yourself every day for a week, and then like once every week. And then eventually like once every month. And that's how you keep that memory locked in. But if you only do it every day for, I don't know, two weeks and then never again, I think your brain just takes it out of, you takes it out of your RAM. I just, I feel like it's, I have, I mean, I, I probably could get it back pretty quick, but if I played AOE right now, it's not like I have any knowledge of the meta or anything. Mm. Um... Yeah, space repetition, exactly. Um, space repetition, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Uh, uh, um, wait, what was I gonna say? So, I, three day challenge, Twitch stories. I mean, I've told the diamond story, right? <laughs> diamond story is good. I'm trying to think of anything else on Twitch I've never told. Um, such a crazy work environment. Um, Motherfuckers be like space repetition, like they're sitting around to ride their bikes, so they don't forget how. Uh, is was up Wednesday getting shafted again? Was up Wednesday's never happened. Was up Wednesday's never happened. Uh, have you seen a Starship rocket? Which oh, there's it's tomorrow, right? SpaceX launch tomorrow. I hope it goes well. <clears throat> what was your first day like of Twitch? Yeah, I, I, okay. My first day at Twitch, I showed up way too early. I found out that it's like a real gamer vibe culture and everyone starts work like at 10. <laughs> so I was there like, I don't know, eight, seven thirty eight, and like no one's there, including my boss. And so I'm just sitting around. That's when I uh, talked to the receptionist and made a friendship, uh, which was cool. Um, did you show up first day with a tie on? No, I think I have a photo of my first day. Wait, I think I have a photo of my first day. I was so proud to work at Twitch, bro. Just because I wasn't sure I was gonna get a job. <laughs> you know? Like after how much grinding I'd done in college and like, I, it's just like, I was so proud to work at Twitch. Uh, so I think I wore the purple hoodie like every day once I got it. Let me see. Oh my God, look at this photo of little Maya. Wow, this is like young Maya. Oh, this is like right when we got her and I brought her to work. What a little sweet dog. I remember I would get her a little bowl of corn from the lunchroom and then she would fucking mack that shit down. Um, okay, wait, I need to find, here's, <laughs> okay, I don't, <laughs> this is embarrassing, I did not know about this, 
I wish I hadn't found this, but I've already laughed at it, so you have to see it, which is really embarrassing. This is I don't know where the photo is. Wait. But this is a tweet from my first day at Twitch. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. This is terrible. Awesome first day at Twitch. Learned cool stuff, met cool people, and still managed to fit in a Super Mario 64 speedrun. Hashtag game life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh dear god in heaven oh game life indeed that's that was 9 32 p.m after i got home i guess um damn what what um what would i search to find hmm. oh here it is <laughs> this is my first day at twitch wow this is my very first day at twitch I found the photo oh god <laughs> <laughs> mewing 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 uh sheesh i wore this like too big collar uh dress shirt which again wasn't the vibe but they gave me my hoodie that day so i just wore that pretty much every day uh Mm-hmm. Mewing? Nah. I be ewing. Good. Anyway, so this is where I this is me in my desk. Uh I think first day I met with the CEO, uh, Emmett Shear. I had a sit well, again, this is only a hundred people at this company, right? I'm I'm very early on. So everybody met with the CEO. I met with the CEO and he um didn't know <laughs> I mean he doesn't he didn't know anything about marketing at all. He's an engineer through and through and he loved Hearthstone. That's basically it. And um so we just had like this awkward meeting which was scheduled for like an hour where he just like was like so what are you going to be working on? <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't 100% know yet, but my boss has told me I might be handling the front page and um, things like that. And so, um, he's like, cool, 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 cool. Um, what do you think about Twitch? <laughs> uh, oh, this tweet is better. Yeah. So that was, that was that. And then I set up my shit. What is this? Um, this is a tweet. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um explain this. Ben SW, if you if you type um if you type not like this, that is Ben SW, my friend, my good friend now. Uh Ben SW was a bit of a shit talker, uh a bit of a wild man, and he was being personally trained by Bobby Scar. So Bobby Scar again, very good melee player longtime veteran was a, a, formerly a tournament threat like a top top player in the world and Bobby Scar was now working at Twitch and training Ben SW and they both worked there longer than me so in my first I mean week my first week of um, of uh, Twitch I'm already kind of talking shit on people you know like pushing some buttons in the break room like oh you know what I could beat you at League of Legends I could beat you at Melee or whatever. I don't know. I'm not I don't I don't play melee at all, but I should assume I'm gonna assume I'm a grinder. And uh it was funny because Ben SW had to bring Bobby Scar his coffee every morning to get melee training. This is real. <laughs> ben SW would show up earlier than Bobby, make him a coffee, bring it to his desk in order to get trained at melee. That's a real, real story. Anyway, um, 
Uh, ben SW is probably the most active grinder in the melee lunchroom. Like at, at at lunch at Twitch, there was this fun break room with a CRT. Everyone would play, other people would play melee, and he was the most. He was the grinder. He wasn't particularly good, but he was like the guy always there. And so, um, <laughs> I, I want to get the order right on this. I think what happened is I challenged Ben SW to a money match. And then I went on teamliquid.net, which is where I used to work. And I asked people for help. And then I grinded for two weeks. And then I beat Ben SW and got 50 bucks. <laughs> and I distinctly remember he got actually pissed because I won the money match. And then he, there was the money on the thing. And I, I, he was so mad about it. I thought it was kind of for fun. I thought it was like a good vibes thing. But he was like really pissed off because obviously he'd been practicing longer than me. He was in such a bad mood about it that I remember I said, hey, we don't have to, <laughs> we don't have to do this for money if you don't want to. Like after I won, I was like, hey, we don't have to, might, like whatever, we don't, you know, we don't have to do the money, which actually was a bad thing to say because first of all, it's kind of condescending. And then second of all, he made four times my salary. I was making jack shit, bro. <laughs> I was a marketing coordinator at the time. Um, this dude was clearly more paid than me. And so, again, he's not really higher up than me. He was, he was a young, I mean, he's like my same age. He's like a, you know, low level engineer, but he's making a lot more than me. Um, <laughs> and he grabbed all, grabbed the money, like all the bills, threw it at me <laughs> and said, I don't need the fucking money. <laughs> And stormed out of the break room. Okay? Um, so, you know, heated. 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 All right? A heated situation. Okay? Um, I brought a good energy. <laughs> uh, at which point, I posted this picture on Team Liquid and thanked all my people for helping me. But then, the next day... No, I didn't post this tweet. This tweet's a throwback Thursday after me and Ben SW were cool. I only posted this on Team Liquid where nobody would see it, okay? I just found this picture later. It's a throwback Thursday. I didn't, I, I tagged him in it later <laughs> after we were cool, okay? I didn't post this the next day, okay? Anyway, so, wait, did my stream die? Okay, we're good, okay. So then, then, uh, I, um, next day, I'm sitting at lunch at one of the little circular tables at Twitch, you know, just getting a snack or whatever and, and chilling. And Bobby Scar, who I haven't really met yet, comes and sits down at my table and he goes, I heard you're trying to fuck with my protege. <laughs> Again, all of these guys were like really close friends now. Like I, I love, I love both these guys a lot. Like they're some of my best friends in the world. Um, we just had a really fun hangout at Genesis, but like, this is how I met them. Um, he, <laughs> he's like, you think you're, you think you're good? You think you can beat me? And I was like, no, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't think I can beat you. He's like, you think you're fucking good? You think <laughs> you're gonna fuck with Ben like this? I mean, <laughs> I mean, he's like talking shit. I get work coworkers. It's, I want to tell you how Twitch was not a workplace. I just want you to understand Twitch is like not, it was a hundred people that grew rapidly during the time I was there, but like, it was people, it had no structure and everyone at the beginning was a hardcore gamer and we were all just riding by the seat of our pants. It was it was a crazy time. It really was not it was a and it, and we had just infinite money, free snacks, free drink. I mean it really was a cool thing. I I I'll, I'll I'm so thankful I got to experience that cuz I made some real true friends and it's like I don't think I'll ever see that again. That level of Silicon Valley excess. Um but it wasn't a real job. It was just, it was like, just, yeah, everything, everything up into the right. And so yeah, he, he, he kind of chump checked me a little bit, uh, which only at the time made me want to grind harder. So I started grinding more melee because of that. Cause I wanted to start fucking people up. And my thought was eventually I'd be able to fuck up scar, which didn't happen the entire time I worked there. Although actually, well, it actually, no, I take it back. I'll take it back. It, it didn't happen the entire time I worked there, but, but, um, I came back to Twitch for Blur's retirement party. 
They had a retirement party slash tournament at the Twitch office when Blur uh, quit, quit, not retired, but quit Twitch. And everyone was invited and I came back and I got second place in that tournament beating Scar and Tope. And it was, it's the best, it's my, it's my personal opinion, my favorite tournament I ever did. I beat Scar's Falcon. I beat uh, Tove's Falgo. I beat everybody but Nintendo's Ice Climbers, which of course I couldn't fucking beat. Nintendo's Ice Climbers is he's like he was still actually a tournament player at the time. Um, best tournament I ever did. It's a fair loss. Um, but but that was after Twitch. The whole time I was there, he fucked me up. Um, so so yeah, these guys are these guys are chump checking me, and I'm grinding. And I remember, this is a fun story. So my boss, who we've had on the stream before, my actual boss at Twitch, his name is Fish Sticks, he's the GOAT. Um, he was a boss, again, he was a young boss. He's way younger than I am now, and he was my boss. Uh, he was like, I mean, he probably was 26. Maybe he was 26. And so he like, you know, he's a good guy, but like he's learning as he goes as well. Um, and he was trying to like relate with me. <laughs> I remember. I remember this, this is a very vivid memory I have where I was like playing Melee on a break and he wanted to talk to me about work stuff and like, um, just like, you know, catch a vibe. And so he sat down, he's like, plug me in. <laughs> and like, so I, I toss him one of the extra controllers. He has like one of the beat up like communal controllers. I'm using like my controller. And he like plugs in and picks Mario. <laughs> and I'm just Fucking him up with Sheik, dude. I'm just like... <laughs> He's like, so yeah, we got this upcoming quarterly report or whatever. <laughs> and I'm just like... Bush -sh -bush -sh -pop. <laughs> so eventually I realized like he's not... Um, I did bring a good energy. I brought a good energy. Uh, I, you know, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Is in that situation, there's no winning. If you're a melee player and you've been in this situation, there's actually no winning. If you're a melee player that knows how to wave dash and play good against someone who doesn't, you either are purposefully sandbagging, which is cringe, or you try to beat them as quickly as you can and be like, ah, you know what, it's a, it's a hard game. There's no there's no way to do it. There's actually no way. Um, don't play it, man, that's what I ended up doing. I switched to a different character. I switched to Luigi or something and then it was fine, it was okay. But I remember, <laughs> I remember he only played like a little bit and then he's like, okay. And he unplugged. <laughs> um, uh, so that was, that was that. Um, how about pause and talk? Yeah, I think we just left and talked. Uh, you have fuzz in your beard. You're right. I do call me fuzz beard. It's good now. Um, there's a pop-up ad on the side. There's not a pop-up ad on the side. What are you talking about? Uh, no, don't actually call me Fuzzbeard, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Fuzzbeard. Why are you always sick? I don't know. I feel like I've been fucking cursed this month. I feel like I'm so sick lately. Not so sick, but it's like a little sick. It sucks. Stop calling me Fuzzbeard. <laughs> <laughs> Sick because of the fuzz, probably fuzz beard. <laughs> uh, you asked for it. And I said it as a joke, bro. I said it as a, I, as a goof, a goof and a gaff. Your mango melee story, which one? I got plenty of mango melee stories, bro. Mango hilarious. I, I, uh, I remember I first met mango in the coolest way possible which is that I got to meet him in Norwalk during the 4th of July. If you guys don't know Mango, he's like a super, he's super like America fuck yeah. And he's super like Norwalk, California fuck yeah. And I got to meet him at his mom's house in Norwalk um, during 4th of July. And I get there, I stroll up with Scar and I meet Mango and, and he introduces me. And Mango's like, what's up? Good to meet you. And we're shooting the shit and we're kicking it off. And he's like, hey, you got a Twitter? He wants to add me. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And I pull up my phone. It's like, it's Atriot. And then right then, fucking Bobby's stupid ass scar 
interrupts the conversation and goes, hey, you know this guy's a Music King fan, right? <laughs> Points at me. And then Mango goes, what? <laughs> Mango goes, gross! <laughs> and then fucking takes the phone back, doesn't follow me for three years after that, probably. Um, gives me shit like the fucking whole two days. Uh, which was bad. But I will say I have a vivid memory of we were playing because it was so sick. We were playing melee on the lawn, plastic lawn chairs, CRT on a folding table on the lawn at night in Norwalk during 4th of July. We're just playing melee, drinking beers, and there's fireworks going off in the streets all around us. And I look, I turn around behind me. There's smoke. You know, there's like, there's like smoke, just like it's dark and there's smoke and put puddles of smoke. And then out of the smoke comes Mango on a tricycle, drunk off his ass, drinking a beer. <laughs> he got, he's like, woo! That, I mean, that's crazy. That's like an, I, that's an all timer. I'll never forget that. It's just me, Scar, and Joey. Uh, actually, Scar and Joey playing. I'm just in there watching. It truly was the American dream. Let's see Armada do that. Good question. Good question. So that was um, that was iconic for me. That was real great. And then um, I'm trying to think of other crazy Twitch stories. There's so many, but I feel like I've told them all. Um, I told the story of the intern, right? The intern who fucking threw up and lied about it I told a story about the people who had sex in the break room um, um, Intern, intern's new. I think I have told it, but uh, intern, you know, Twitch had open alcohol policy, had an open bar, had, you know, like some top shelf stuff and then also taps for beer. And people would drink uh, after work on like Fridays and stuff. Uh, but the office was open on weekends. And so this intern got a bunch of his friends that didn't even work there and brought them in on the weekend and had a bender. They just all drank and drank and drank. And then the intern stumbled into a conference room, puked all over the floor, and instead of telling anybody, just ignored it and thought the cleaning lady would get it. Just left and went home with all his friends. Probably left a mess too. And then on Monday, like top executives stroll into that break room for an early morning meeting to talk about like <laughs> high level shit. And there's just puke all over the floor. <laughs> Because the cleaning, they, they hadn't come. They hadn't cleaned it up. Um, and uh, so after that, they locked up the fucking bar after Friday. So the, you know, they, they took away all the liquor and then the beer tabs got locked up on Friday. Like he ruined it for everybody. Uh, which is fucked. And he did not get invited back, but he didn't get fired. Insanely, they found him out through the security cameras very easily, by the way. And he didn't he didn't lose his internship, but he did not get uh, he didn't get fired, which is crazy. Got a stern talking to, I guess, but I did not fire that guy. I don't know. Twitch, dude, crazy culture. Um, and then the sex in the break room was just that like Twitch had a nap room, but the rumor got out that people were having sex in there, and then it was like no longer cool to nap there. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. I mean, I know a person that had sex there, but I don't want to fuck you. You don't know him and the story would be weird, but I'm just saying it wasn't just one person. Um, Twitch had a nap room. Yeah, it literally had a room with like a little bed in it that you could like go to during the day and take like a 10 minute nap. But like now that you know that a bunch of people had sex on it, it just feels like weird to go take a nap on it. Um, mm, mm, 
Must have been Blur. Definitely was not Blur at this time. <laughs> not to knock Blur, but he's gotten much better at talking to women uh, recently than certainly when he was at Twitch. Um, what else happened at Twitch? I told the story of... Let me see. Um... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like anything that was like too wild. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. It was like, oh, <laughs> I got another Ben SW story. I don't want to slander him here, but he has a lot of hilarious stories. I remember Ben SW. Um, I think he wanted vegan pizza or something. I forget. He had a, he had a dietary reason for wanting like different kinds of pizza. Um, and we, you know, Twitch had a lot of options for dinner and one of them was free pizza every day. Like they would just buy boxes of pizza. And like, if you didn't want the catered dinner, you could have the pizza. It was insane. It was like, it really was an, an insane deal. Like you could just get free food and you get pizza. And he was like, I really think we should have a different kind of pizza. And he sent an email to HR <laughs> like saying, Hey, we really need a better pizza or like a, a vegan pizza or whatever. And the email gets forwarded to Ben SW's boss. <laughs> I don't remember how we saw this email, but we get to we get to see this email later on. It gets forwarded to Ben SW's boss with the with the with the subject line, get your entitled engineers in line. <laughs> no, get your fucking entitled engineers in line. <laughs> That shit was wild, bro. That shit was wild. I feel like I would bring Tupperware and bring shit home every day. So NVIDIA had, uh, listen, this is not, I don't even know if this is a stereotype. I'm just gonna tell you the facts on the ground as I saw them. NVIDIA had free food, um, free dinner, lots of good stuff. And in, NVIDIA has a lot of Indian engineers. Just a lot of them, okay? Most of them with families. And every single day, I would usually stay pretty late and I would get food. There would be a bunch of Indian dudes who would just take a ton of food. I would see them packing it up and then we'd take it home. <laughs> and I'm only saying this because it was like 98% Indian dudes and I saw it every time. I'm only saying this because that's the fact of it. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying that's what it is. Uh, and it seems, I mean, it based, right? It works. <laughs> Um, but they, they would just pack it up. I mean, they would just be loading it up. It's going to waste. Otherwise, no, no, no. It's like, it's like a cafeteria. You'd order something. You'd order, like there's a sandwich bar or there's like a pizza bar or there's like a, and they would order stuff, but then they would take it, put it into a Tupperware, put it in their backpack and then leave. Um... <laughs> The real question is, why aren't you doing that too? Um, no, it's a good idea. I'd probably do that now. I think I'm smarter now. I mean, the the reason they did it was to keep you at the office, right? That's why they offered breakfast early and dinner late. It's like, if you're having dinner at, I don't know, 6.30, that means you're at the office late. Um, but if I was there, I would just eat it and then I wouldn't want to bring it home. What did you do at ASU? I played League of Legends, bro. But I did do a Bachelor's of Marketing and I did do uh, honors stuff, yeah. Yeah, I clutched it my senior year, clutched uh, honors program, and then study abroad in Korea for seven months. I'm blurping, dude. I feel like I'm actually sick. I feel like I have some kind of problem with my stomach. Um, hugs 86 stories. My favorite hug story is that I used my Twitch power to give myself a free sub for life to hugs 86 <laughs> I am by far his longest sub I have like a fucking 200 month sub this hugs now uh, let's find out right now um, test 
Uh, sorry, it's a 90. It's a five-year badge. I have a 91-month sub to Hugs. He doesn't even stream very often. I'm probably the only sub. He doesn't get paid for it, I don't think. I think Twitch changed it so you don't get paid for it. I don't think he got anything for it. Um, but as you can see, I have this. I have this 91 month, oh, you can't see it. Well, whatever, I have a 91 month sub. And I would always, I mean, he didn't know this was for a while. And when I would say, I would always talk about how I was a diehard member of the sub pub, which is what he called his chat. <laughs> I'd be like, what's up, dude? I am the day one sub pub, Mr. Sub Pub. And then he found out, and then I kept saying it. Uh, I kept saying it way. I <laughs> Once he realized I wasn't paying him anything and it was all fake, I still, and I kept doing it more. Um. Do you still have the sub to the official Twitch account? No, dude. I told chat about that and then it went viral and hit LSF and then the next day I logged in and they removed it. <laughs> you fucked me. You fucked me, dude. Once that hit number one LSF or whatever, they fucking took it away. Rat snitches, dude. Actually disastrous. We used to be a real country. Um, Joe Biden's America? Absolutely. I know. I'm so sorry, man. Saying it like I lost a loved one. <laughs> Not that bad. It's all right. I'm, I'm okay. Um, I'll survive. I'll get through it. Uh, damn, I'm... I'm oh. ah. Thoughts on the Padres acquiring Dylan Cease. I think it's good. Um... Yeah, I think they've really made a smart decision there. You know, the Padres have always need to be more proactive with building out the roster, and I think this will give them the, um, you know, the rebuilding credential they need uh, to to build around Dylan Cease here. Um, <sighs> Uh, <laughs> Actually, base take. <laughs> uh, not convinced that he knows who the Padres are. They're the fathers in Spanish. <clears throat> hey, Big A, I'm in my last semester at ASU. I want to work in esports production. How should I make connections? Um, you want to work in esports production. Here's what you should do. You should take a nail, a hammer, and start hammering that into your dick. <laughs> so you're prepared for the pain of what your job will entail. That is what I think you should do. I think you should do that. I think only if you can do that successfully and feel okay with it, are you able to understand what working esports production will be like? That is a miserable, difficult, uh, lower pay, higher pressure, exhausting career path. Um, so I would just be careful. But if you really want to do it, um, it's actually very easy to make connections. You just have to find a way to do some work for probably some, well, you know, Smash is one of the great ways in because they always need production for, for cheap or free. <laughs> you got to find a way to do some work first and then then you, you'll find a way to do it. I mean, people always need talented uh, esports production people, but um, it's just very difficult. It's like a lot of hours and, and uh, stress and they don't pay very well. Um. <clears throat> Fuzzbeard think we're working for free. <laughs> All right. Well, if you cost four hundred dollars an hour, they might not hire you. You understand? Um, how do you rate Ferrari's chances against Red Bull this year? Very high. I'm very, very. This is Ferrari's year. Leclerc, baby. Leclerc is moving up in the world. The thing about Leclerc is that he don't care. 
about his opposition. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about Leclerc. That's why Ferrari is number one, not in my book, but in America's book. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. So what Leclerc is going to do is he's going to take his car and he's going to drive it around the track course or faster than his opponents. <laughs> Not just fast, but faster than his opponents. Um, faster than the ops, yeah. And that's gonna get that's gonna catapult him to success. Um, what about his teammates? They will be right there with him. You know what I'm saying? Ferrari strong is what we always say in the business. When you're an F1 fan, you know those three magic words. Ferrari, the goats. No cap. All right? And we do say that. Um, <laughs> Tell me you don't follow F1 without telling me you don't follow F1. This guy thinks I don't follow F1. <laughs> surf night, surf in it, you fucking idiot. You think I don't follow F1. That's comical. People are laughing at your dumb ass. You think I don't follow F1. World's biggest Leclerc fan. Fucking clown, dude. Idiot. I know more than, I've forgotten more about F1 than you'll ever know. Okay? I know about the wheels. I know about the fucking tires. I know about the fucking cars. I know about the drivers. I know about the tracks, okay? It all, to me, it all, but it's all one together. Um, what's your opinion on DRS? I love doctors. They keep people healthy. Good question, next question. Um, <laughs> um, I got <laughs> one second. My wife is fucking brain rotted for real. <laughs> my wife is brain rotted for real. I went out there to blow my nose, okay? And <laughs> the first thing I do as I blow my nose, she looks at me and goes, cocaine time? And laughs. And then <laughs> I look at what she's watching and it's fucking How to Train Your Dragon 3. She's brain rotted as a chatter. She's giggling at her own jokes like me. And she's watching fucking Zoomer movies. This is, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> uh, without you, I would not, I would not. I would not watch it. Seems like your wife is way out of your league. Yeah, I definitely married up. She didn't mention the How to Train Your Dragon in the vows. Um... <laughs> you can't just call cinema a movie. <laughs> mm. Have you watched Party Ricky Stanicki yet? Yes, we did. The day it came out already. I'm interviewing for a job teaching kids Minecraft Redstone. How should I prepare? I guess you should learn a lot about Minecraft Redstone. That's a job. I guess rich kids, right? Rich kids who are addicted to Minecraft and their parents want to find a way to make it worthwhile. Is that the... Um, the 
The kids are mostly rich as fuck. Uh, I mean, Minecraft Redstone is pretty sick. <clears throat> you should watch a mumbo jumbo Redstone bit on stream. Dude, when I built this, I fucking watched those all the time. Um, wait. Wait, the server's still up? This is where it is. I Me! Where I kept my diamond. Sucks! Left a heroic way. Where's my fucking... And he... There, this. Up. Look, I built this. And it opens! <laughs> Holy shit! I built that off and Mumbo Jumbo, okay? What the fuck is this? My plan was to lay a trail of breadcrumbs and clues. Breadcrumbs? <laughs> that would slowly lead Ludwig to this painting. And I would tell him how to find the answer. And he would think he discovered it on his own. Damn, we had some crazy editing back then. And he would discover the coat and he would open it. And he would think, oh, I found Atriac's secret stash of diamonds. I found it. And he would walk down here. Oh, so slowly. <laughs> oh, I'm just an idiot Ludwig. I'm walking down here. Let's close behind me. Ooh, lights hidden in the walls, but it gets creepier. A lot less lights down here. Oh, a lot of less light. Oh, now it's getting the stones Insane. all getting cracked. Insane. And this is this is actually oh, grind set. Down here. This is actually grind set. I feel like I grinded through five years of Minecraft in a month. I actually I actually grinded so much offline Minecraft. Is uh, Ishrax Diamonds really down here? I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> and then he would walk out to this. <laughs> 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 My stone pickaxe emerging from the lava. The uh, that was crazy. That was powerful stuff. That was powerful stuff. Um, no, I don't think that was very cool. I don't think that was cool to do. I think that was a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was a fucking wait. I want to see my entrance. Uh, wait. Let's stop by this little patch, <laughs> and a light appears. <laughs> the staircase comes out of the wall. Holy God! This is such virgin. How did I re lose my V card? Uh. Can you explain how Queso rose out of nowhere? Uh, it's really simple. He's got a lot of energy. He's funny. But he's got a formula where he'll go live. Someone in chat will make a funny fat joke about him. He'll go, Chat, I'm not fat. <laughs> You know, it's like a, it's a Twitch thing. And he'll be like, that's fucking stupid. You know, whatever, make fun of it. Then you clip that and you put it on TikTok or YouTube shorts. People laugh at it. It goes viral. They come into the stream to make another fat joke. He creates another one, another fat joke <laughs> for shorts. And then uh, it starts, each of the shorts gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the cycle continues. It's a flywheel. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like Ludwig short or Atrioc glizzy hands or bald, but he just, he put it on steroids. He just, he, he, he distilled it down to its core and he has really good reactions and then put them all on shorts, which, you know, shorts makes it go viral. When you put it into a YouTube video, it's only one part of that. It's not the same thing, but, um, mm. Who do you got for the IPL this year? I'm thinking RCB takes it. Yeah, definitely. RCB takes the IPL for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Who's winning the Euros this year? Oh, dude. You know who's winning the Euros. Bro, you know. Let's all say who we think's winning the Euros at the same time. All right? Uh, one, two, fucking three. It is 
France. I I had to say, I mean, America really is the real winner because we're not in the Euros. <laughs> but it's France's year. It's obviously France's year for the Euros. Everyone knows that. Oh, I will say, wait, you guys have to watch this. Actually, I'm not going to watch the whole thing with you. Um, but it is funny. I... Um, France's leader, this is a, like, I don't know, leaked video or something of him on the phone with Putin. This is Macron on the phone with Putin right before Putin invaded Ukraine. And Macron comes across looking pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed with his composure in the in the call. And he kind of calls uh, Putin out on being like, bro, <laughs> that's not how this shit works. <laughs> like... Like, come on, you're, this is ridiculous. What you're doing is ridiculous and you need to fucking de-escalate and whatever. And, okay, anyway, it's a good call, I'm impressed. But right around here, Putin goes like, bro, I'm at the gym. <laughs> like, I'd rather be playing ice hockey than taking this call. And it's like, <laughs> it's so out of left field. Like, they're having this serious conversation about war all the way up till here. And then Putin goes, I'm literally at the gym right now. And it, it blew my mind. I wonder if I can find it. Wait, Ari just yelled. One second. I gotta make sure she's okay. Uh... Ben! Ben, are you okay? She said she was screaming because the dog is too cute and it fucks her up. <laughs> She's looking at her dog and she was petting him and she said it pissed her off so she screamed. <laughs> uh, she's on one today. Uh... Mm, anyway, I can't get this to open up, but uh, that's what he said. He goes, I'm at the gym. No, I haven't done the German nuclear energy report yet. Uh, I do need to do it before I forget. I need to do it. But I don't... <laughs> I want to have the energy. I want to have the passion, bro. I don't want to... I feel like it's... It's uh, it's gonna be whack. Um, are you excited for the CS2 major drama? No, Ra. I am. Wait, does anyone here live in uh, Copenhagen? Mm, if you do, um, if you do, uh, Aiden and I are gonna be there uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, pretty soon, end of this month. We are going to be in Copenhagen for CS2 Major. Uh, me and Aiden Ross. Yeah, my best friend Aiden Ross. We're going to be there. Uh, we were going to pick up Andrew Tate, but he got yoinked. So we're going to go to CS2 Major instead. Um, we are not going to the group stages. We're only going to the finals. And he's <laughs> actually <laughs> poor Tate. <laughs> Poor Andrew Tate. If anyone is unjustly uh, <clears throat> jailed. Um, so yeah, it'll be me and Aiden's, you know, fucking yearly boys trip. And we're going to go. It'll be fun. I'm excited. Uh, should be a blast. I did do honors for junior and senior year at Barrett. That's correct. I did do honors. Uh, it was touch and go after a very terrible sophomore year, but I, I brought it back junior, and I think I really clutched senior. Um, Blood was slandering Barrett, bro. Everyone who I was at ASU that wasn't in Barrett would slander Barrett, dude. It's because they. Put <laughs> if you guys don't know, Barrett was the honors college at ASU. It was brand new the year I joined. 
I mean, that first year, it was fucking awesome. It was this brand new, glorious, gorgeous campus, separate from ASU, brand new dorms that weren't shitty. And they put in a brand new fucking cafeteria with the nicest food, like easily the nicest food at ASU. It was golden. But then <laughs> they put up these giant like prison fences all around it. <laughs> And you had to like, and they had like, you know, real fucking, like they didn't want anyone not in it to get. <laughs> so everyone hated on it because they didn't want fucking regular plebs getting into Barrett, dude. Like come inside and enjoy all the fucking amenities. It was like a gated community within a college, uh, which, you know, only makes it a little more isolating. Um. Uh, that seems so needlessly hostile. Yeah, it probably was. That's why people make fun of Barrett. But I, I don't regret it. Barrett was sick. Barrett was fucking awesome. What is? I mean, to, to live in a brand new dorm the first year it's there, it's so rare as a college student. They're usually all fucking beat up. Um, mm, 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 like, you know, there's some Asian people that went to Hasayampa. <laughs> you know? um, I got to live. Oh, uh, the Ides of March are upon. Have you seen the movie Ides of March? Fucking beast movie. Ryan Gosling, George Clooney, politics, sex, betrayal, drugs. Um,. Each truck went to the honors college. We didn't have an elevator and someone shit in the shower. That's terrible. Um, in that, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sick movie. I recommend it. If you got any more movie recommendations? I recommend Ides of March. Check it out. Or what? I don't know. Uh, I watched Red Lights. I never recommended Red Lights. I never even heard of Red Lights. I've never. What, what movie is Red Lights? Red Lights movie? I've never heard of it. <laughs> it looks good. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I've never seen this movie. I certainly didn't recommend this. You got it from someone else. <laughs> I've I've never ever I, I, I yeah, I've I've talked about uh Red Eye with Cillian Murphy, Killian Murphy. Um I've never recommended this movie. Never seen it. Um, I recommended Fracture. Fracture's Heat. I've been watching all the Mission Impossibles off stream as I catch up for a video I'm doing. Uh, they're pretty good. They're fun. I watched the one where he goes underwater and doesn't breathe for five minutes while trying to... It's pretty good. Um... Hey, truck, I turned 20 today. I got a new job at Top Golf, but I'm scared about the future of my life financially. Don't want to have to slave away to live on my parents at 20 years ago. You're throwing a lot at me here, KFO. <laughs> Congratulations on your job, bro. You're 20. You got, you got a lot of existential dread for 20. <laughs> Relax, bro. Relax. Um, I don't know how to live on my parents at 20 years ago. <laughs> Chill out, have some friends. Remember that the point of life is the depth and quality of your human relationships. Um, enjoy being 20. Spend time with friends. Make sure you're not depressed. Get some sleep. You were born in 2004. That's crazy. You were born after finding Nemo. <laughs> Why is that your 2004 metric? Because I went on a Disney cruise in the beginning of 2004 and they were like, we've got a new movie. It's not out in theaters yet, but because you're out here on the ocean and you guys can't pirate it or leak it, we're gonna show it to you early. 
and we got to watch Finding Nemo. <laughs> and I got a, a kiss from this girl on the cruise. Um, it's kind of hype. Probably one of my first kisses. I mean, maybe it was my first kiss. Um, so it's all very good memory for me. Um, were you forklift certified back then? <laughs> no, I was not forklift certified. Uh, <laughs> he was a wizard. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Damn, I'm not feeling so good. <clears throat> Big A, I got a hard line for you. Next time you're about to beat a hard boss. Do doubters go to heaven? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is, all right. I get it. Write that down, I guess. Do doubters go to heaven? Let's find out. I keep cooking on it. That's what I would say. Keep cooking on it. But I think you're on to something. <laughs> I gotta murder. I mean, I do keep track of all my chat's addresses and fears. Um, so if you doubt long enough, I do hire an assassin. But uh, in a cool way, in a cool, in a chill way. Um, what's mine? You, oh, yours is dying alone. That's your fear. Um, apt. <laughs> uh, fuck, he's good. <laughs> Uh, can we do a fear tier list? What do you mean? A tier list of things to be afraid of? That seems dumb. What about... Um, what about a tier list of... Wow, these are some bad tier lists. <laughs> these are some bad tier lists. What about Avatar The Last Airbender character ranker? No, I'm not even going to remember half these characters, bro. Um, what about... Disney and Pixar films? Oh, God. Have I even seen all these? Disney and Pixar films. 101 Dalmatians? C. Bugs Life? B. Aladdin? S. This is just going to be millennial. <laughs> this is actually just going to be millennial bait, bro. This is actually, I can already tell. This is going to be millennial bait. I'm just literally going to, I'm just going to fucking make all my fucking fellow millennials pog and everyone else is going to be pissed. I already know about it going in. Actually, I'm gonna put, I haven't seen it as D. Haven't seen it. I'm sure I have seen Alice in Wonderland, but I don't remember it. Aristocats, Loki kind of fucks. Atlantis, I actually really like it. Is it A? Probably is A. I do like Atlantis, <laughs> Loki. Bambi, trash, dude. Too sad. Children should not have to fear anything real. They shouldn't have to confront death or learn about life or have any lessons. Children's cartoons should be slop that entertains them on the iPad while their parents do something else. Okay? There should be no, there shouldn't be anything powerful in our children's media or our adult media for that matter. Children should be only fed slop so when they grow up they only want more slop because they're not used to confronting anything real. Um, that's what I believe. I'm just, I guess I'm brave for that. Um, Beauty and the Beast. It's all right. Kind of a girl's cartoon though. And I was a boy, so I was too base for that. Big Hero 6. Low key, didn't like it. Sorry. Didn't like it. 
I'll say it. Black Cauldron, haven't seen it. Bolt, haven't seen it. Brave, haven't seen it. Brother Bear, B. Cars, oh dear God. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh, we'll leave that for later. <laughs> Kachow. Kachow. Chicken Little, haven't seen it. Cinderella, mid. Coco, actually fucks. I'm a Latino. I put it in A. Might even be top A. Coco's good. Dinosaur, bad. Dumbo, overrated. Emperor's New Group, S tier. I fucking love this film. This cinema, this masterpiece. I actually love Emperor's New Group. It's so fucking funny. It's good to this day. Uh, great, great song, great jokes, holds up. Uh, funny as an adult, funny as a kid. Absolutely, 10 out of 10, no notes. Wish they would make another movie like this. Um, Finding Nemo, low key. I have a good memory of it. It's fine. It's fine. B. Fantasia, I've seen it. Mid. Fox and the Hound. Okay, I know I said you shouldn't teach any kids about real things. I feel like I learned a lot from this movie. This movie's fucking fire. What an emotional, powerful, good movie about friendship and love and heartbreak and, and regret. And uh, it's truly sad. I cried as a kid. Fucking great. Um, yeah, Fox and the Hound. Fire movie. Frozen. Fucking bad. <laughs> Except for the song. People just like the songs, bro. The mo uh, This movie's not good. I'm putting in C. All right? Good Dinosaur. Didn't see it. Great Mouse Detective. Didn't see it. Hercules. I love Hercules. <laughs> I'm seeing such a pattern. I fucking love Hercules. Hercules might even be my number one. I think Can't Say I'm In Love, when Meg sings it, is the greatest love song ever made in a cartoon. Hercules is fire. I think James Woods as Hades is fucking inspired. Um, I think it's unstoppable. I think it's unbeatable. Uh, Danny DeVito is great in it. Yeah, it's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. This is an incredible movie. Home on the Range, haven't seen it. You guys probably fucking love it. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame, too scary. I'll put it at B because it is that real shit. Too scary. Too spooky. Hellfire song? Come on. Yikes. That's a yikes, dude. Um, I haven't seen this. Incredibles? Heat. Maybe S? It's probably my favorite Pixar movie, so I have to put it in S. Uh, Incredibles is Heat. You caught me monologuing? That's just fire. That's just great. Good, good, good God. Great movie. Uh, Inside Out? I think pretty whack. Jungle Book. Uh, I literally only remember Bare Necessities, which is a heat song. I'll put it at, in B. <laughs> I, I love Bare Necessities. I can't remember this. the rest of Jungle Book. Uh, this could be an S tier upon a rewatch, but I, I this is my honest first pass takes. Lady the Tramp. Um... I have seen it, but I only remember the spaghetti kiss. That's it. So it's probably good, but Lilo and Stitch. Pretty good. Um, Probably a B. Right around a B. Lion King. A. A. Maybe, maybe if it's truly a correct rating, it's an S tier all timer, but I don't like it as much as her. This is my tier list, so I'm not putting it as high as Hercules or Aladdin. Um, a Little Mermaid uh, for girls. Sorry, uh, watched it. Didn't enjoy it. Okay, too much about love, not enough about fighting. Make my music uh, skipped. Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole. <laughs> uh, a lot of slop in there. I'll put it top of C. <laughs> Meet the Robinson. Haven't seen it. Moana. Um. Moana is good. Um, I Moana is good. I even like the songs. 
Um, I like the Rocks song. I like the Shiny song. I really like the Shiny song. I thought it was really good. Um, I feel like it was actually a pretty pretty good movie. I'm not even... I mean, if I'm being real, it's probably A, but I don't have a lot of nostalgia for it. So I would probably put in B. It's my list, okay? Um, I think Moana was pretty well made. The only thing I'll say was, I remember watching Moana, and I was like kind of mad that her parents were painted as like bad people for not wanting her to go out and explore the sea. And I remember thinking like, from your parents' point of view, there's like a dangerous fucking storm. The sea is killing grown men who go out there to explore. And like, they just don't want you to do that. And like, it's not crazy. <laughs> You're like a young girl and like people who have been training for years are just dying. And they're like, don't want you to do it because they're worried about their daughter. And, um, and I was like, they're not that bad for that. They're actually kind of based <laughs> just cause it worked out. You know, you don't remember the plot correctly. I think I do. I remember they're having like a town's meeting and they're like, some of our best sailors are disappearing or whatever. I don't remember if there was like a storm or something, but like there was something encroaching. We'll look it up right now. Don't try to fucking... Um, Moana plot. Blight. There was a blight. Um, mm, yeah, people are going out beyond the island's reef and they're getting... They're getting washed away. And then she's like, I can do it. And then her parents rightfully say no. And it works out for her, but like. Yeah, I feel like you don't remember the plot, little bro. <laughs> like, what part am I saying that you disagree with? What, what do you think? Uh, um. <laughs> Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The dad lost his friend, but aside from that, nobody else left. But okay, so what does that change about my point? The dad left the reef and his good friend who was an experienced sailor died. And he won't let his daughter do it. And you think, you think that's, now it's cool? You think now he's the bad guy for that? Uh, grandma was chill with it so let her sail <laughs> what I'm saying is the dad is not in the wrong for not wanting his daughter to leave the reef when his friend died during the same thing especially when she's inexperienced um I think I'm like, that's fully normal to say. Um, given this and the Overwatch Preserve, I think H Rock is anti expression. Right? I think I am a person who doesn't want to only take fairy tale logic. <laughs> okay. And I especially don't want the argument that like it worked out in a fairy tale. So in real life, I would make the same choice. I think that is the most fucking brainlit uh, line of logic. All right. I think in real life, if it's your daughter and your friend just died, you make the same choice he did. Therefore, <laughs> but when you're in a chat, you're like, oh, no, it's the magic of exploration. And you're like, you're just lying. You're lying to everybody about your actual beliefs, which I think is fucked up. I think it's whack. Uh If it's real life and I was Moana, I would make the same choice she did. Well, if it's real life and you were Moana, you would have died. Because <laughs> the fucking sea god wouldn't have watched over you, bro. So let's be real. <laughs> 
Okay? Let's be real. Uh, uh, wait, let me finish this. This is, this is good. All right, so Monsters, Inc. is a heat movie. Monsters, Inc. is such a clip. What a clever idea. I love the fight at the end in the factory with all the doors. That was a, that's a great scene. Also, the villain twist is good. Uh, I mean, it's probably S, but I'm trying to keep it to my true, my all-time favorites. I think Monsters, Inc. is a great movie start to finish. I think Pixar needs to make more shit like this <laughs> to get back on track, bro. They need to make some Monsters, Inc. caliber movie. It's an entirely new IP. It's a slam dunk from minute one. It's hilarious and charming and innovative and new and fun. Um... Who's the villain? It's fucking Water News, dude. The CEO. He's fucking rigging it to make more money, get more screams. Um, spoilers for Monsters, Inc. Mulan, I think Mulan is an all-time S-tier movie. Straight up, I fucking love Mulan. It's probably the first girl protag movie that as a little kid I fucking loved. I think Mulan's fucking great. The songs are great. Um, the lesson is great. That movie fucking ruled. Banger music. Yeah, Mulan's excellent. Um, I'll Make a Man Out of You, all time song. And then the grind set, Mulan's grind set to climb up the fucking thing with the gold medal. Incredible, incredible, inspiring, really. Um, Mulan's, they should have played this over it. Uh, highest kill count in a Disney animation? Yeah, fucking <laughs> like a million Mongols die when they fucking avalanche them on the hill. Yeah, it's base, dude. What a what a fucking what a war. It's a really a war movie. Um uh, Yeah, insane ratio. All right. Well, that's that's uh that's up there. That's S tier for me. This movie's really good. Um but I'm going to put it in B cuz I was spooked by it when I first saw it really young. <laughs> and then I didn't watch it again for a long time. Ari loves this movie. This is a really good movie. Um Oliver and Company, I don't remember this movie except for one song that I love. So I'm putting it in B because that song actually is absolutely fire. I want to play that song right now. Wait. So when are we going to eat? We? Yeah, I'm starving. Listen, kid, I hate to break it to you, but the dynamic duo is now the dynamic uno. uno. What do you mean? What I mean is, our partnership is here with Dissolved. But wait! Wait, you're not being fair! Fair's a for tourists, kid. Consider it a free lesson in street we savoir fair, fair from New York's coolest quadruped. Check your leg. Oh, no, cat. Anyway, that song rules, so obviously it has to be high on the tier list. And that's why I'm putting it in B. It's better than Hellfire. <laughs> uh, Peter Pan, mid. Mid. Pinocchio, mid Nokio. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. I love this movie. Straight up S tier, bro. I can quote this whole movie top to bottom. <laughs> Fucking love, love the first Pirates, bro. Absolutely. Okay. Um, my voice a little gone. I would love to do my, I actually think I have a good Barbosa, but my voice is all stuffed. Uh, remind me tomorrow. I'll do a Barbosa. I pray, hand of God. <laughs> I'll do a Barbosa. Hand of God, dude. I love doing a Barbosa, but I feel like I really I'm stuffed right now. I'm sure you can find a clip of me doing it. I've got good. If you can find uh, uh, Pocahontas. Where would I put Pocahontas? I feel like I saw it again. Not recently but still like 10 years ago and i liked it more than i liked it as a kid 
I feel like Colors of the Wind is truly a banger. I'll put it top of B. Um, Princess and the Frog. Actually, I don't think I've seen it. I'll be honest. No, wait. I think I have seen it. I have seen it, and I thought the... Princess and the Pog. The song with the shaman doing the card tricks was such a heater. Friends on the Other Side. Oh, that song was such a heater. Friends on the Other Side was like a fucking massive flaming heater of a song. Um, that really was a banger. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it up here. That I mean that was that was one of Disney's that's an all-timer. That's like a I, I ranked up there with the best. Um Ratatouille. Oh god, I am skipping it. <laughs> I'm fucking skipping it. Rescuers I haven't seen. I don't know, I haven't seen. Sleep Media I haven't seen. Snow White I haven't seen. Star Wars, just in general. It's impacted my life a lot, I'll put it in A. Um Sword in the Stone. Don't care. Tangled. Um, mid. Tarzan. Fucking love Tarzan. <laughs> I love the Phil Collins soundtrack. Heels, <laughs> dude, rise up. Fucking love Tarzan. Um, I love Tarzan. Uh, it might even be S. I'll be honest with you. Tarzan might even be S. I don't know where I'm... I just don't want to... I don't think it's up there with all of these for me, which is why I'm splitting it off. But I think if you're S or A, you're just... You're great to me. Truly great. Uh, love Tarzan. Love the quotes. Love the characters. Love the music. Um, what do I always quote from Tarzan? I feel like I've quoted it here before. I'm blanking on it right now, but I quote something from Tarzan all the time. Um, and I'm I'm fucking trying to remember. No, it's not glizzy, glizzy, glizzy. <laughs> um, it's not apes together strong. It's not don't call me glizzy hands. It's not I'm walking over here. No, it's not. <laughs> Fingers thick like I'm a gorilla. No, no, no. It's not, I'm blurping. It's not Justice for Harambe. It's not, call me Fuzzbeard. That Fuzzbeard is not a character in Tarzan. I'm Tarzan. I'm, <laughs> time, time to go Tars mode. Uh, you guys are not. Fuck. It's. <laughs> you guys, none of we help. None of you will help. I'll remember it and then I'll tell you. Uh, Toy Story is a goat movie. Toy Story's a goat movie, right? I have to put it in S. I feel like I have to put it in S. I feel like it to me it's an A, but I almost have to put it in S. Toy Story's a goat movie. But I'm gonna it's my list. I'm fucking I'm letting it all hang out. I'm putting it in A. Um I don't like it as much as these, even if I do like it a lot. Um This is this is now officially just my list, okay? Treasure Planet, this is a fucking great movie. Super underrated. I love this movie, and I also love Titan A.E. Have you ever seen that? It's not a Disney movie. Have you ever seen Titan A.E.? I loved that movie as a kid. Uh, I love Treasure Planet. I love Titan A.E. I love the I love that the fucking betrayal in Treasure Planet. I was like, oh shit, that's fucking crazy. Um, super underrated, super fun. I love space shit. Yeah, I like this movie a lot. Uh, I love pirate shit. It's really good. Up. Too sad at the beginning. <laughs> Too sad, dude. Too sad and too real. I think it would have been better if, like, instead of it being about an old man who has the love of his life die and gets his little house built around by big cities, if it was about, like, a cool, hip, young kid who doesn't have any problems and, like, makes fun of his parents. Would that be crazy? Yeah, what if it was like about emojis? <laughs> what about if it was about emojis? Um, like, what if it was about like the fucking laughing emoji going on a. Uh, Moana is too fake and Up is too real. I don't think Omana is too fake. That was my problem with it. 
I gave Moana a good rating. I just think Moana, I didn't like how the dad was treated like a villain. <laughs> he was a good guy. You know, he was just getting the job done. Um, I mean, Up is actually, oh, actually, I'll say this. I think the first half of Up is a great movie. I think the last half is pretty boring. I'll say that proudly. I think the last half of Up is pretty mid. That's why I put it in C, okay? In fact, if I'm being actually unironic about it, I think if you were to just take the opening short and that was all Up was, it would be an S-tier masterpiece. <laughs> well, they had to make a full movie out of it, and I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> so that's what I think. Um, Wally? Uh, Tron is cool, but I'll put it in C. I mean, I haven't seen Tron in for fucking ever. I just remember the light bikes. Um, we'll get to all the Zoomer classics in a second. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh actually fucks, dude. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Winnie the Pooh fucks. Put in, I'll put in B, but it's good. That crazy Winnie is always getting up to adventures, bro. He's getting into hijinks. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh gets after it. He takes life day by day. I, actually, only thing is, I remember I saw this when I was a kid. It freaks me the fuck out. I saw this as a kid. Christopher Robin and his friends play in a place called the Hundred Acre Wood, where every day there is always a new and wonderful adventure. It was on one particularly blustery night that this story takes place. Winnie the Pooh was preparing for bed when he remembered a very frightful thought. Tigger had warned him about mysterious creatures called heffalumps and woozles, creatures that love to steal got a honey. Gun. So Pooh prepared himself he stays trapped, not dude. to let anyone or anything get at his precious honey. He stood guard as the night's blustery wind turned to rain. He kept his watch hour after hour until... Xi Jinping trying to keep an eye out for Americans at the border. <laughs> Eventually he'll get sleepy, boys. Eventually he'll get sleepy. Well, he can't stop us forever. Half a lump and woozles steal honey. They're black. They're brown. They're out. They're down. They're in. They're out. They're all around. They're far. They're near. They're gone. They're here. They're quick and slick. They're insincere. Beware. Beware. Be a very, very bear. A half a lump or woozle is very confusal. The half a lump or woozle's very sly. Sly. <laughs> sly. sly. They come in ones and twos. I'm frightened. But if they so choosles, before your eyes you'll see them multiply. Plop. 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 They're extraordinary, so better be wary, because they come in every shape and size. Can I say, I think this is a remastered with brighter colors. I remember it being darker. This could be, it could be entirely... Is this possibly a remaster? I mean, this is still spooky, but I do remember this part being darker. Uh... Sorry. Sorry. If honey's what you covet, you'll find that... Could be a TV thing. It, because they'll guzzle up the things you prize. They're black. They're brown. They're up. They're down. They're in. They're out. They're all about. They're far. They're near. They're gone. They're here. They're quick and slick. They're insincere. Beware. Beware. <laughs> Just them chanting, beware, beware, beware. When he woke from his very strange dream, he found a... Uh, I wonder if this is a remaster. I want to know. Well, the comments are turned off, so I can't know. Wait a minute. There's definitely more to it. Look. Oh, my God. It is different. That was a remaster. That was a remaster. They're black and brown. They're Look, brown. it's darker. <laughs>
sincere. Beware, 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 beware. So that's way spookier. That's way spookier. And that is why I cannot, in good conscience, put this in A tier. Too spooky. Too spooky. It's weird because there weren't even black or brown. They were like green. <laughs> it's a weird line in hindsight. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. This movie is great. This movie is great. I'm putting it in A. Wreck-It Ralph is great. Um, uh, just fun for gamers. Um, I didn't like the sequel as much though, but I did like this a lot, and also the twist is good. Uh, Zootopia, low key, bad for the world. <laughs> Created a whole generation of furries. I'm putting it in C. I don't care if it's a good movie, bad for the world. Okay, shouldn't have been made. Shouldn't have been made. Some things you you don't let out of the box, okay? Onward, haven't seen it. Soul, I did see it. Thought it was actually a C-tier movie through and through. What a cool idea. I think the first third of this movie, I was like super into it. And then it became so boring. Um, yeah, I really think the first third of Soul is like the most interesting setup. And then they're just like, nah, let's just make it this boring fucking cat movie. Um, and now let's see. The big three. This is the Zoomer trilogy, okay? To Zoomers, this is all S tier. These are all classics. These are all childhood untouchables. <clears throat> I need to be honest here. I need to be honest. Let me really... Lock in. Um, okay. I think <laughs> I think that Cars is not actually a good movie. <laughs> I think that Cars is not actually a good movie. I like when he says ka-chow. I'm with you on that. But I don't think it's a good movie. So I'm going to put it in B. I think Wally -E is a good movie. And has a good message. Um, But... <laughs> A little bit boring. <laughs> a little bit boring, some parts. All right? A little bit boring. Tiny bit of a snoozer. Tiny bit. I think it's art. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go to a museum, I see a great painting. Great. All right. Now I'm a little bit bored. Uh, I'm going to put it in A tier. Okay? Clearly a good movie. Clearly art. Clearly powerful message. I think the image of the uh, fucking uh, decaying uh, society on the giant cruise ship is iconic and has burned everyone's brain and we can use that to make arguments. I think it's powerful, but uh, I want a little dialogue, you know? And then finally, Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I think Ratatouille is a movie that has really grown on me. And I think it's because the story of the critic is so good. <laughs> I think Ratatouille is pretty good. I don't love the idea that a rat pulling on your hair can do anything <laughs> let alone move you in a way that makes you cook I don't, I don't know why they just ran with that i don't they just needed a way to make that work and they just imply like the movie doesn't treat it like it's an alternate universe where this happens it treats it like that's just normal like we all should know that like if someone pulls on your hair the right way you'll move your arm it 
it treats it like that's a completely normal concept. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, mm, bro, try it. You think I put a rat in my hair? And <laughs> I guess it would make me. Um, but that's not really a reason to criticize a kid's movie. And I do think, I think this is a movie where I love the last half, which is rare. Usually I like the beginning and don't like the ending. I think this movie has a good ending. It earns the journey. Does it make it to S though? I'll put it at the bottom of S because I really do like Ratatouille. It's probably the most recent Pixar movie that I like, that I really like. I watched it with Ari. I thought I wouldn't like it and I had a great time. Um... But I don't have I don't have any nostalgia for it. <laughs> so everything in here I have nostalgia for. Everything here. So if it's bottom of I mean, do I like it more than Toy Story? That's a tough question. Probably not. Um But you know what? I'll give chat one. <laughs> I'll give chat one. Uh, and we'll put Ratatouille in S. I think of all of the Zoomer movies that chat likes, Ratatouille is the best. I think Ratatouille is better than How to Train Your Dragon. I think it's better than Cars. I think, how is Lion King lower? Um, I mean, I fucking, I fuck with Lion King. I actually fuck with Lion King way more than Toy Story. I fuck with Monsters, Inc. more than Toy Story. I fuck with Coco more than Toy Story. I fuck with Lance more than Wally. <laughs> I fuck with Star Wars more than Wally. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, um, Fox and the Hound, really? Dude, Fox and the Hound made me cry. So I'm not going to put it in S. Fox and the Hound is beautiful. Fox and the Hound is a beautiful movie. Um, I can respect your list, Big A. There we go. See? I'm not saying it's everyone's list. I'm saying it's my list and millennials will know um but up is too sad that was a joke the reason i put up low is because i think the last half of up sucks as i explained i actually think the sad part of up is the only good part of up um I can't. Re oh, Fantasia. If it's too old, I I don't I don't know shit about Fantasia, bro. All I remember about Fantasia is Mickey Mouse like in the bucket of water and it keeps filling up. I don't know shit about it. I'll put it in. I don't even seen it. Um, but I feel good about this list. Like if you if I had to pick three Disney movies I wanted to watch tonight, <laughs> it would be three of this list <laughs> easily. This is easily it would be in this S tier. And Emperor's New Groove would be one of them. And Hercules would be the second one. <laughs> one of these. <laughs> I think that's easy. Um, do -do. Do -do 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 -do. um Pirates is so good. I fucking love Pirates. I think the first Pirates is... The first Pirates, the first Mummy. Anything else? I think those two movies are just perfect all around family action adventure films. Perfect. Start to finish. Interesting characters, fun locales, uh, high stakes adventure, thrilling pacing. Um, National Treasure one. Yeah, I think National Treasure one is also a great. I think Pirates edges it out, but I do, same kind of thing. It's just a fucking, a fun, um do 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 um are you guys so brain rotted you can't hear the phrase something edges it out <laughs> without thinking of edging and then saying huh you are that I mean that's a very normal you are you <laughs> that's insane that's yeah, that's that's completely fucking soup for brains 
pouring out of your ears. That's so bad. And then you're telling me that you have an objectively correct tier list on what the best movies are in, in Disney. Um, I talk in emotes in real life. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, Lordy Lord. Uh, that's Pog. That's Pog, bro. Skull emoji. <laughs> I say Kappa Chungus IRL. <laughs> In what context are you out loud saying Kappa Chungus? Uh... <laughs> First date <laughs> during sex. <laughs> I was hanging out with a friend yesterday and said, I can't unironically. Well, I can't kind of works, right? I feel like I can't is a phrase people would say before the emote. Bro, I can't. I can't with you. Like if they're saying something funny, you say, I can't. That's not, it's not that crazy. Now you're saying it because of the emote, so you are brain rotted, but like it doesn't come off. But if you're like, oh dude, Kappa Chungus. <laughs> if you're saying Kappa Chungus, that's a problem. That's not, that doesn't flow. Um, <laughs> Ishrak, as a 21-year-old who's seen cars 200 times, has over $400 of toys and all the video games, cars not being S is fundamentally wrong. I can see that we may have a difference of connection to this movie. Um, it seems like we have an unbiased take here. <laughs> unbiased opinion check. <laughs> uh, I do love when he says Kachow. I, I, never, I never argue with that. I, all I've said is I've never argued that when he says Kachow, it's really sick. It's awesome. Mm. Cars 2 Best Spy Thriller? Wait. <laughs> isn't the isn't the plot of Cars 2 like hyper convoluted and like, <laughs> like a deep fucking takedown of capitalism? <laughs> or some shit? I, I don't remember the fucking... Uh, or is that Cars 3? Um, the best spy thriller is Johnny English Reborn. I do like Johnny English movies. Anyway, I, I stand by this list, bro. I stand by this list. And if you haven't seen any of the movies on this this S tier, you're missing out, bro. These are classics. These are fucking classics. If you're, if you're a Zoomer who didn't watch fucking Mulan, what are you doing? <laughs> Go watch it. <laughs> it's great. It'll, it'll fucking bang. Um, what about Aladdin 2? I like Aladdin 2, and I like Aladdin 3, The Prince of Thieves. Uh, I'm Aladdin-pilled, but I wouldn't put them up in S tier. Mm. What's your opinion on the Pirates trilogy? I think the Pirates movies got... Oh, this is my hot take. Pirates 2 is better than Pirates 3. And the only reason people rate Pirates 3 higher is because it has an incredible opening, an absolutely incredible opening, and that incredible scene where the bad guy is walking through the ship as it explodes around him. I think those two scenes are high art. They're phenomenal. But actually, the movie's not as good as Pirates 2. And so I think the movies actually get worse each time, even though I think the first three are great. Um, but I think the second movie is actually much better. I actually think the the scene where um, they're playing fucking Liar's Dice with Davy Jones, absolute heat. Absolute heat. God, that movie cooks. Um, but I think the third movie is overall not nearly as good and just has two incredible scenes that make your memory feel like it was good. 
Um, <laughs> three threes. <laughs> uh, have you seen the deleted letters I see? And the rest, they're all pretty forgettable. I, except for there's there's one that was so bad that uh, maybe a recent one. I don't know which one it is. There's one where uh, Barbosa is talking about his daughter. And he's like, at the end, he's like, she's the real treasure. <laughs> treasure! That was terrible. God, that was such an awful movie. And you could tell in the beginning, that was the one where Johnny Depp was like showing up to work drunk and didn't know any of his lines. And they had fucking, um, they had an earpiece in his ear feeding him his lines. And you could just tell he didn't know shit. He didn't even know how to do his fucking Johnny Depp accent. He didn't know how to do the fucking Captain Jack accent anymore. It was awful. That movie was really, really bad. Um, I don't know which one that was. That was probably five. I saw it in theaters. I was really disappointed. It was like all CGI, super mid. Um, but the first three, fire. How would you rank the Kung Fu Pandas? I, I'm not a Kung Fu Panda expert. You have to ask Ari. Oscar right now. Let's ask Ari. Let's ask Ari. Ben! Can you come rank the Kung Fu Panda movies? Ben! Get good for chat. She hasn't seen four yet. All right, babe. I'm in pajamas. So hold your arms like this. <laughs> okay, I'll just be right here. All right, what would you say, would you rank the Kung Fu Panda movies? One, two, and three. And you haven't seen four yet? No, it's not out. <laughs> Four's not out yet? Actually, two's really good, but you can't beat the OG. <laughs> you can't beat the OG. <laughs> so you wouldn't say two, one, three? I would accept that. You would accept it? Yeah. But you are a one, two, three. Let me think. What's your favorite oh, scene gosh. in all of Kung okay, Fu Panda? Okay, I think two has like better moments, but mm. the overall story, I just like one is just so fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're really stressing you out with this. Yeah, you are. Uh, what's your favorite scene of all of Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jeez, they're all... I well, this is not a scene, but there's like this Netflix special where they go through everyone's backstories and it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, all, it's not just Poe, like you know? the backstories like, of the other characters? Yeah, it's really cute and like why they're good at what they do. And then like David Cross is really funny in the movies. Do you like when <laughs> Jack Black says skadoosh? Yeah, I like when he says <laughs> anything. <laughs> She's a real fan. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's so many funny moments. She's a real fan, man. I got Okay, okay. You know what, my favorite? This is a spoiler, but one of my absolute favorite moments in the first movie, you know how um, his duck father, he's like, okay, I think you're ready. I'm going to tell you a secret. And first, it's like, you think that he's going to tell him he's adopted, but it's not. He's going to tell him the secret ingredient of his special soup. <laughs> and he's like, so, so, oh, like, oh, my God, such a big deal. You're finally going to tell me, like, the super ingredient that makes your soup so special and tasty and sells well. Yeah. And he said, nothing. <laughs> like, people believe it's, like, they think it's special because they believe it's special. <laughs> and then that's, like, the, and then he realizes, like, he can be the Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, really fun, cutesy. It makes me hungry for soup. <laughs> <laughs> you love this scene because it makes you hungry for soup. No, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> but I think it's like very cute because you're like, you're like, what is this? You're like this, and then he's like, nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do think. It, I mean, I, my favorite character in Kung Fu Panda is his dad, his duck dad. Oh my god, I know. And the, I don't know. I think his, his name, duck dad is hilarious. The actor is really amazing, and he was like a guest star in Law and Order too. I didn't know that, but yeah, that's everybody. Mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's fun when you do see them on screen. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Parker, yeah, yeah, Mr. Ping. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <The> duck dad, <laughs> dad kind of bad. We got a lot of furries in here after I mentioned fucking Zootopia. Oh, Zootopia is kind of cute. It's just like. What do you think about my list, babe? Wait, oh, what do you think about my list? Oh, gosh. Ooh. 
What do you think about my list? Oh. Uh, well, it's like some. How many are you rating based on the music, right? Because for some, the music carries. It's all of it. Really it's hard, all of it. Right? It's all packaged up together. Okay. I don't know why Fox and the Hound is so high. That's weird. <laughs> Is this, you didn't cry at Fox and the Hound? Yeah, that doesn't make it a good movie. It's like so powerful. It it's so emotional. It's like, like all about friendship. You cry when you stub your toe. Does that make the experience S <laughs> tier? <laughs> <laughs> but like Hard Agree on New Groove and Incredibles. And but Mulan. I think Mulan's really good. Oh, James Hong is in Mulan too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's cooking me. I'm getting cooked like the soup in Mr. Pink's shop. Uh, I'm sure they thought the same thing, right? Like it's they know. Like what's right? weird is they agree with all my picks. Did you know Kurt Russell's in Fox and the Hound? Um, no, I didn't know the actress at all. Yeah, I've since I was a kid. And that Corey I just, I think <laughs> it, maybe it's because I was moving so much, but I was like, they have this long-term friendship. It's so cool and beautiful, and I really thought it was Something powerful. He desired. A bit skewed. We need unbiased <laughs> judges. Uh, what? What is? What, I don't think Atlantis is that good either. You don't like Atlantis? I think it was an ambitious project, and it kind of just, you know. I thought it was so fun. I think Treasure Planet's better than Atlantis. So just don't worry about the tears. Oh, okay. We don't worry about the order of the tears, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think is in the wrong tier? Okay. Well, I like I said, Fox and the Hound. Okay. Ooh, yikes! This is extremely awkward. Coco should be like SS. <laughs> <laughs> wow, unbelievable! Can I get an F <laughs> for the yeah, point of right. later? <laughs> because that's very awkward. <laughs> that is, I think Ooh, that's Latina that's bias. All right. I don't know. I think it's really good. I think it's really good too. I put an A. Should be S though. Like, how could Fox and the Hound like be above Coco? That's whack. Yeah, Fox and the Hound is truly a beautiful movie. I think you're not giving it the, the credit it deserves. It's not as good as Coco. That's for sure. <laughs> like, I, there's no, like 90% people would agree with me probably. Oh yeah, you would put Coco and S. All yeah. Right. What, what else? What else would you change? I don't know for Monsters Inc. If I'm biased, but I really like that one. I know you love Monsters Inc. Yeah. Let's see. Um. I do think Brother Bear is underrated. I think B is fine. Okay. Mm. What about Cars? What do you think Cars should be? Uh, I don't know because I personally think it's so boring. Oh, interesting. So I would put it like a D, but like I'm trying to be really unbiased. Oh, interesting. It's like really hard. I don't. I don't like. I don't know. I don't like. I don't, cars. Know. I, don't like cars. I think it's weird. It's I'm super sort of weird. a Cars defender among this. Wait, chat. are you? Yeah, they don't like it very much, but I kind of pull it up to be because I like Kachow, You know, Kachow. I don't know. You like Cars. Why do people care about my opinion though? Uh, or, what you, I, guess. I care about your opinion, babe. This is my oh, opinion, so I want to see where um, you disagree. I'm troubled about Dumbo. You probably I'm... put this higher too, huh? Because no, like actually, it. it's, it's like okay. Okay. I'm conflicted about Dumbo, though, because I really like it, but I know there's issues, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is it, like, not aged well? I don't remember well, Dumbo that well. Well, they're saying, like, the crows are racist, but at least they got, like, actual black actors to voice them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that was a step up at the time. Yeah, for I'm sure. sure. I mean, like, when did Dumbo come out, like, the 50s? Yeah, it's really old, <sighs> but I think it's, like, really nice, compact story. Like, Where did really I put impressive. Aristocats? I think that's too hot. Ooh. You don't like Aristocats? No. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I only remember everybody wants it's, to be a cat. It's not that good. <laughs> everybody. Everybody wants to be a cat. You know what? I will move this down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember mm, that. Awkward. Okay. I think mm. Tangled is probably B because I liked it more than Soul. Uh, That's not. This is not an order. I know, but Soul is C. So then... Tangle should be like a B. Does that make sense? Yeah, but all girls like Tangle. <laughs> I wonder why that is. All right, this is a man's list. But right? it's like, I'm I not think putting Tangle. What I like about Tangle <laughs> is like the mom. Like, it's so. Like, if you have a narcissistic mom, it's like a very scary movie. But you don't have a narcissistic mom. I know. I can't relate. <laughs> but I know, like, I have empathy. You Your know? mom is like one of the sweetest <laughs> people ever. It's like so fucking scary. I think it's like very. It's like a true scary villain. I think that's why I like Tangled. 
I think that all women just like Flynn Rider, okay? And they don't want to admit it. I like the hair. How's that? <laughs> He's got good facial hair. No, I'm Rapunzel's hair. <laughs> Okay, God. Oh, uh, I think everything else is fine. The only real gaffe is the Kogo thing. Uh, that's, that's gonna be an awkward conversation later. That's gonna be awkward, huh? Yeah. You say Kogo's better than Lion King? The only reason Lion King is good is because it's Hamlet. Yeah, steel. That's it. They yoinked a great story yeah, and at made least it Coco's better. Yeah, like fucking original, you know. Uh, I mean, they just like. I don't know if I like Lion King, but I can't say it's a bad movie, so how's that? Mm? You don't like Lion King? I don't know. I don't know. You don't feel bad whenever his dad dies? <laughs> you don't feel bad when Mufasa <laughs> is killed I by do. Scar? It's, it's a little sad. You don't yeah. feel like it's a heroic journey? And when him and Timon and Pumbaa hang out and he eats the bugs, you don't think that's a fucking cute story? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just over it. And you don't think the battle with Scar is like really epic? It's pretty cool, yeah. Interesting. Objection Sorry. leading the witness. <laughs> I think you are. You're like, you're like, Nemo and B, are talking. you snoke, smoking crack? Dude, that's actually oh, high for ooh, me. Oh, actually, ooh, I love Finding Nemo. You know where I put Finding Dory in fucking F minus? Okay, I fucking hate Finding Dory. Finding Dory sucks ass. <laughs> I think it, and it was ruined so Nemo for boring. Me. I was like, white yeah. knuckling in the theater, like, because I made you come with me to watch yeah, it. And yeah. I was vomiting. Yeah. Good, um, yeah, and it was like a smelly theater on top of everything. It was a smelly theater. Because it was like one of those little old local ones, you know? Yeah. So that didn't help. Uh, Finding Dory Wait, was you... so bad. That Ooh, it... I'm kind of, I think Nemo should be a B, an A. Oh, no, that's okay. I think Nemo's really good. What do you think about Pocahontas? Uh, I think the music is good. I think they played it. It's kind of... They went too safe with it, I guess. It could have been like a good movie. You think you should have killed all the white people? <laughs> Just asking a question. <laughs> like if Pocahontas took a Bowie knife and fucking <laughs> it been slit all their throats in the camp at the end, that would have been crazy. <laughs> that would have been a fucking twist. <laughs> that would have been I will have, I do have a slightly funny story about Pocahontas though, because when I was a little girl, I was very like tomboyish. And, like, I only like bugs. Why did it switch to a broad when you got here? Oh. That is scary. Zuckerberg, are you listening? And they know that I don't like underwire either. (laughs) (laughs) And also, you're not wearing a bra, and you were talking about that out loud. (laughs) That is weird, because why would it switch to? What the fuck? We were just talking about that. It's so strange. (laughs) Maybe they hear, like, the woman's voice. (laughs) Oh, there we go. Okay. (laughs) Don't talk to me. Zuckerberg, it doesn't get you off the hook, bro. Yeah. Well, what makes it Zuck? (laughs) It's Zuck, dude. We know it's Zuck. No, he's feeling confident because we're getting rid of TikTok. Well, long story short, my mom took me to see Pocahontas in the theater. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like, threw a tantrum and walked out. What? Because I hated, like, anything princess. Oh, you didn't want to watch any girls movie? Yeah. And I was, like, probably, like, five years old or something. Wow. It's pretty fake of you. It was crazy. It's pretty anti woman like, of you. I just remember walking out of the theater like so angry. I remember my That's parents it. took me to see Hercules <laughs> and I walked out and went to Pocahontas and I saluted and I said, the future is female. You didn't do that. That's what I did. I was yeah. six years old and I said, the Can future I see is the female. <laughs> oh, this is having seen it. Oh, well, where's the F? There's no F. The C I, is pretty good too, right? Nah, we just stop at C. Oh, so you just scarred a movie? How the fuck is Soul C? I think Soul is like very Soul. mid. I thought Soul sucked, honestly. I think it only starts strong and then falls off. Like, it's like also a good idea. I, I guess maybe I'm super disappointed. Where is the Goofy movie? Wait. Oh, I love Goofy movie. I love a Goofy I movie, movie maybe an movie. S or A. I mean, it's not good, but I love it. I love Goofy I movie. I think it's like a C or a B. The Michael Jackson dance at the end? <laughs> Michael Jackson is cool in that movie, for sure. I just okay. Sorry, quickly. So I thought it would be about jazz, and it just like I was so disappointed that Soul wasn't about jazz. I mean, it was just about it. Like a even the cat. even the title is like Soul. You know, I was like, oh yeah, jazz movie. You know, and it wasn't. But it, I thought it would be about the stuff they talk about at the beginning about the makeup of your soul. Oh, and like well, this whole. Well, that's when you start watching the movie. But I mean, like I going into it, like or like but... you think I don't know. I thought it was gonna be about jazz. Okay. 
Um, Soul made me cry, but it could have been so much better. It hey, could don't... have been a lot better. I think it's very disappointing. Um, if it made you cry, <laughs> I'm sure you'd rank it higher. Wait, you than haven't C. seen Robin Hood? I love that movie. Which one? Robin Hood with the fox. I'm sure I've seen it, but I can't remember it, so I can't rate it. Onward wasn't too bad. It just, I think it came Where did out... I put... Um... Came out during the pandemic, so like nobody's... Jungle talking. Book. So I, I think Jungle Book's probably Jungle really Book good, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't... I can't remember the bare necessities. I've only seen the live action. The one with um, Christopher Walken. Where's Little Mermaid? I put it down here because it's a girls movie. And it's like, I, okay. I only saw it as a kid and I was like, I don't like this because it's for girls. That's how I felt about Pocahontas. I haven't rewatched it since. The The live action is not too bad. Um, this isn't like a very exhaustive list though. Oh, where's Road to El Dorado? I love yeah, that, that Disney, movie. Right? Elmer's DreamWorks turd. I love El Dorado. Yeah, it's not a good movie. Okay, so. El Dorado. <laughs> Wait, what did they say? On the trail we blaze. <laughs> on the street unbroken. Like of an antique destiny. Long will be revealed. <laughs> That's not the fact. Yeah, that's what you sound like. No, so. it's not. It's a, on the trail we blaze. I love that movie. Yeah, I it's think tough to fine. be a god. I, mean, I don't know how much everyone's too, I'm gonna listen to that song right so now. personal. Yeah, it's very personal. Like, it's and you shouldn't judge question. someone else's, right? Well, I'm judging you for the COVID thing, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you for your help. Yeah. Appreciate that. Oh, you should that. do a DreamWorks one, man. Maybe I will. <laughs> I hardly think I'm qualified to come across so satisfied. I just don't I love have it with, with the, the cherubim. Do you know what I'm talking about? There again, there on, on their, their knees. knees. Being worshipped is, is a breeze. Father suits us in the interim. It's rock going to Mexico like. <laughs> Whenever I visit Tijuana, I play this song. Oh my God, it's <laughs> tough to be a god. god. Friend, where mortals have not gone. Be deified when really you're a sham. Be an object of, of devotion. devotion. Be the subject of song. It's a rather touching notion. All those prayers and those salons. <laughs> This movie really rules.
That's absolute heat. That's absolute heat. Great. I think all the villain songs are pretty good. I mean, I love Be Prepared, too. Hellfire sounds like somebody actually fucking torched someone during the Spanish Inquisition to it. <laughs> Hellfire sounds like they played that at a fucking uh, mass execution, bro. It just doesn't... It hits too hard. When all the fucking hyenas start goose-stepping like Nazis. <laughs> uh, I'm a good villain because he's actually such a fucking loser. <laughs> like, no lion will hang out with him, so he hangs out with hyenas and just talks about how cool he's going to be. It's actually very... <laughs> it, no. Insecure. Insecurity is a crime, Scar. Um, Hellfire before sleep time? No, I'll give myself nightmares, bro. I'm going to bed. Uh, plus, Hellfire is long. I think it's like, I think it's like roughly two hours long, that song. Um... Uh, raid aspect? I will. I will raid a spectacore. Raid a spectacore. Thanks for watching today. It was fun. Good seeing you. Sevens, had a good time. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better and I can actually do best tweets. I've been avoiding doing YouTube stuff because I feel sick and have less energy. So, but hopefully I'm back tomorrow and feel good. Uh, I'll sleep well and be good. Thanks for watching. Fun vibing with you. Hope you had a good time. Bye.